<laughs> well, why are we here then? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're fucking weird. Yay! Oh, yeah, we are, we are, we are, oh, we are, tuned me up. Um, we got, we, we've got a new decoration as well, courtesy of our lovely producer. With every English win, we're getting more stuff. It's got sand. Now, I don't want, I don't, I don't want to, you know, touch the. I don't want. What, what's the saying? I don't want to touch the wood. I don't want to heat the basket. You know the saying. <laughs> uh, you know the saying where I don't. I don't want to jinx it. Jinx it. Jinx there you go. It. Right. Yeah. Touch wood. Touch wood. I don't, don't want to jinx it, but England might win the World Cup. So, boom. Should do um, something where you rub the. Yeah. Every uh, uh, <laughs> should we? Should we dress the lovely tall? Uh, handsome man to our left. What, the me? elephant in the room. Go on, Reeve. <laughs> How tall are you? Four foot Depends ten. Wait, I'm sitting down here. I'm sitting. I'm sitting down here. Nobody needs to know. For, while I'm sitting down and on Six air. Six foot five. Well, yeah, yeah. While I'm sitting Six down. Six foot five. Five eleven. Why not? Yeah, yeah. No, Rory. It must be tough. <laughs> we haven't even. <laughs> Hang on. We haven't even. Yeah, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, we are joined today by Wrexham's finest, Oli Farmer! Yeah. Thank Thank thanks for joining us. Thank yeah. you. And after seeing all the people you've had on the show recently, everyone's probably really underwhelmed right no, now. Not no, not at all. Mate, no, honestly, Wrexham as a whole, are, are they love pitch side. Yeah. We love Wrexham. Like, the whole fan base here is all for it. But you know, we, I don't know who, ru who runs the social media account. I, I do know him. He did tweet. Whoever runs Wrexham TikTok, yeah. He'll be watching right oh, now. Colin? Colin, is it Colin? Colin or your testament? Colin. Is it Colin, Colin or Matt? Shout out Colin and Matt. Yeah, they're well, the two Matt. that run the social Virgil media. Virgil van Dyke's not on Disney Plus, is he? So. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> oh. exactly. Virgil van Dyke actually <laughs> said his favorite YouTube channel is Pitchside. Did he really? Yeah. He did say that. But is he, on, is he on billboards in New York? No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Probably. He's not, he's not. Mate, welcome to the show. Have you, have you done anything like this before? Any a live streams? No, nah, so I'm not into... I'm not. I'm not that into like the whole podcast. Yeah. yeah. Um, and to be fair, recently I commute to Wrexham a couple yeah. of times a week, so I have started listening to podcasts a little bit more. Helps pass the time. But I'm not one of them minute. guys that read books, podcasts, yeah. and stuff like that. But I am starting to lis listen to them more. Um, but I know, obviously, you guys are absolutely smashing it with the YouTube. Thank and you. Podcast. Do you know how long he's known that for? About 15 minutes when he Googled you before we started this show. <laughs> yeah, no, it was last night. It was last night when we tagged him. You boys have been smashing it. You're really brilliant. You went yeah, yeah. so well. What's your name again? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, though. If you, if you, I do. I used to do a lot of long drives. And podcasts are the number one. And Audible? Audiobook. Yes. Audio books. Yeah, audio books. <laughs> audio books. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. That's something I should probably get into. Mate, they're really, really good. Yeah. And I, I can... Just reads it for you, right? It, it just, you just yeah. speak and you get lost. And next thing you know, you just switch off it's and you're, and you're in your destination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You need to sat nav on as well. <laughs> good one for the train, though. It is yeah, a good one for the train. train. It passes by. Mate, you said, but you said you just commute to Wrexham yeah. from... Sorry. Sorry. That's a long way to go. Yeah, it it's is. a commitment to the cause, that is. Yeah, it yeah. is. And it's something I knew... What I was signing up to, you know, so <clears throat> when it all happened in January, it didn't happen overnight. It it was happening over a course of, you know, several weeks. Yeah. And obviously I kept wearing up my options and thinking what was the best thing for me. And it was, a, you know, it ended up working out that the best thing for me was to go to Wrexham. Yeah. Um, a decision that I'm really happy that I made. But I've got family in Surrey. I've got two children that are in school and football is... Typically speaking, a short career. Yeah. And for me to then take my kids out of school and to disrupt yeah. their life, make new friends, to then have to do it again to move yeah. home. So I've got a three and a half year contract. Let's say it didn't get extended, which yeah. hopefully it does. Hopefully <laughs> I think with the way you're scoring, Holly, if you're watching, I, I Holly. Think, yeah, I think if the way you keep up the goal scoring tally, I think it might. I hope so. I, I think really it might get so. extended. I really, I really do hope so because I'm loving it there. Yeah. Um, so then to move back three and a half years as it stands now, um, in three and a half years time, then I'd have to disrupt them again. Yeah. It's um, a very interesting story to hear that side of it because I think that we all glamorise football because it is so glamorous, the way that we look at it. You know? yeah. I think when you, when you think like about Van Cristiano Dijk. Ronaldo and Van Dijk, <laughs> we think that it's one of the best livings to be made. And of course it is, and that's true for one or two percent of footballers yeah. a yeah. lot of footballers have it's to very slog different. and it's, it's very work. different for the shit players <laughs> no not, not, <laughs> no, not, not at all you're amazing very... like, like, if, to play at any standard like bearing in mind a lot of us all play together yeah and you know we we play and, and sort of dedicate our 
our spare time and finances to playing football. And it's so hard to be even even good enough for league league for you, any kind of professional contract. Isn't it like naught point naught two percent of people make it professional? Yeah, if you earn your living odds, playing football, you're amazing. Yeah, yeah, I think the odds are ridiculous. It's like I think there's something like two thousand professional footballers. And yeah, like that, 20 or 20, 200 million kids want to, yeah, yeah. 20 million, 20, so it, the chances are slim. Yeah. Where did you um, come through? Non-league, teams you'd never heard of. Really? Um, oh, I've, I've try heard of Try me. Yeah, try him. Okay, so I came through Sunday league, you definitely won't know these, Epsom Eagles. So I was oh, very aware of that's, that's, in, uh, that's in Surrey, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's in Surrey. Well, race I told course. you I famous, famous for the race yeah. course. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it was just Sunday league and then playing for my county. I'd never set foot in a professional football club until I was twenty one. So serious. Yeah. Wow. So I went into Woken Academy. I call it Academy, like oh, yeah. lightly. Yeah. Oh, it Bazaglo, was, the hero. It's it's like an I don't know who that is. He scored a he scored a winner for honestly he scored a winner for Woking against West Brom in the FA Cup. Like how Tim yeah. Bazaglo? Yeah, Woking always Tim Bazaglo well. scored a hat trick. How do you even know that? They, I they always do well in in uh, in FA in, Cup competitions. In the FA but Cup, yeah. yeah, so I came through the education Wait, so setup they had there. How old were you? So you played? How old were you like playing Sunday League till? So I was playing Sunday League till I was sixteen, and then I went to trial at Woking. And they, they took on like a hundred kids, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got you through the door. Uh, uh, yeah, odds were on. So, <laughs> but you know, uh, what, even that, even even that, though, like, think how many sixteen-year-olds are playing Sunday League, and, yeah. and you think like it's they've just, got no chance. They got no chance, but they do. But they do. That's they, what they, I always exactly. say. They do. Yeah. And, you know, uh, I always try and relay that to people that you still got a chance. And I, it was, you know, I had a granddad. My mum's, my mum's, well, it's my mum's stepfather yeah. technically, but in my eyes, my granddad, and he was very um degrading about it and he always said to me you know you've got to go and get a real job and and to be fair you know i was in the woking college scheme and, and training part-time or three days a week and then working as well so i got a i got a job with my cousin's events company and i was bouncing around then i was working in london doing some brokering shit just a load of crap to me <laughs> and then i was roofing so i work for a roofing company all whilst now so i broke into the first team just making a few sub appearances and then i i left there at 18 19 so i did well to get into the first team there yeah. and then i went to another team in the league called, called having and waterlooville near mm. yeah, yeah, yeah near portsmouth yeah i remember i remember so, they played um liverpool was it liverpool? yeah, yeah, yeah so i, I signed the, the year after yeah, that yeah. oh you just yeah I, that? I missed out on that but so i signed the year after that around i think in the you know, non-league, that level, you can, which isn't too far from where I am now, um, you can sign like, I think, I think I signed there in like October, something random like what? that. Like so you don't have to wait for the yeah. window. So That's sign there. That's what was saying, wasn't it? Do you remember when we had him on? And he, um, what was the team that he was at? He said he literally, it was like the middle of the season and two days later he was like signed by the club. Yeah, you can just sign any time really. Yeah. You? So I was just bouncing around. I was, I was Technically a woken player, and I was being sent on loan for a few weeks to. Shit, what were they called? Saint Albans. Saint Albans. Nice, done. Just some reset. But that was just me as like a 17, 18 year old getting the train to Saint Albans. But for me to train with Woking, work, and then get the train to Saint Albans across London, to then get in at midnight to get up and do it, it was a slog. It was really yeah. a slog, and not to play the violin. I was more than happy to do it. I was loving life. Um, it's quite a commitment though, that age, yeah, like, especially for like yeah. non-league clubs as well. Like it's not like, mm. say, you know, if, if it was like an Arsenal or something like that, I'd be like, oh, that was sick. But you know, oh, like, where they get to... a fucking driver to take them from yeah, Arsenal literally. to yeah, the yeah. new team on loan. But like, this, is, this is a slog, like it yeah. is, it's hard work, yeah. it's a graph. Yeah, for no, low was... money as well. Yeah. For lo like you have, to, you have to supplement your income by doing actual manual labour or whatever. Oh, yeah. It's a really tough life. 50 pound a week at Woking was, was great times. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. So then I... Yeah, we went to having a Waterlooville and scored a load of goals, signed a new deal there. Um, 37, so, 69. Yeah. Pretty good record. So in my second season, so in my second season, but my first full season, I scored 25 goals. I think that took me to the, around the age of like 20 or something like that. And um, yeah, I got my first professional football club called Mansfield. Yep. I fucking hate you. <laughs> yeah. I ha I hated being at Mansfield. Why? It was the most depressing time of my life. We've been open about this before. Yeah, we. I don't have a good relationship with the fans okay. at all. <laughs> and to be fair, the football club. Why though? The what? owner. The owner. The owners there are actually great people, and they've put a lot into the football club. Um, and 
fair play to them, but the I didn't get the support. Why you received I was a young kid that moved away from home, yeah. right? And stepping into professional football environment, bag of nerves, never hit any kind of, never fulfilled any potential. I remember I got booed when I came on once, right? As like a 20 year old kid. I got what? booed a few months after well, signing home, by, by our home fans. I got booed Why? coming on in like the 80th minute. And I remember standing on the pitch thinking like, I, I don't want to do this. Yeah. And that was a horrible time. And, that, and then, was it to do and then the, I was away from home. So was I, it to do with the person you replaced or was it to do with the expectation of no, being I didn't such a goal I, There was no that, one that I really replaced. Like they just got promoted at the comp. They weren't, a, you know, yeah, there yeah. was no but expectation that, that on the football club. On the pitch could like, that could have stopped your whole career. Yeah, yeah of course. Like, genuinely, I, that could yeah. really knock someone's confidence down. I hated it there. Um, the best thing that I come out of it was the fact that I made a friend my best, my best mate today, um, Taff. It was the only good thing that came out of that yeah. football club for me. Was he a player? Yeah, yeah. Um, from a similar area to me. So it wasn't all what cracked up to be for me, and it was it was a horrible time. Um, I, I, I remember standing on the pitch, I think I want the ground to eat me up. Yeah, I was embarrassed. It was just horrible, and that, it was just wasn't what I ever dreamed yeah. of what I thought it would be like. Yeah. Um, and then when I left, I just kind of immaturely let all my emotions out and ranted on social media and having you know arguments yeah. with the fans and I, I do regret that because really and truly as a professional you should never get into that yeah. but um but, you know, you're still learning you're still learning it's part and parcel it's part and parcel of kind of ex getting experience and understanding that you know the situations that you're in and but i, I hated it I hated Quite every minute of it. The, the sort of human side yeah, behind man. booing footballers. Like, you know, when I've been, when I've been in stadiums and p players have been booed, sometimes I've kind of thought that that was the correct thing to do. Or sometimes it's, sometimes it's born out of tribalism and rivalry. Yeah. Like I know Emmy Martinez gets it really badly when he goes back to Arsenal. And Does he? Yeah, really badly. Arsenal. I don't mind that. So when I go, when not I, from if, your own club. Well, if I went, yeah. so if I, if I went back to Crawley and they decided, I've, I've experienced it. I went back to Lincoln. Uh, so I can't remember who I was then playing for, but I went back to Lincoln City and I had I was only there for a year. Um, Pretty good year there. I did have a good year. I d it was a tough one for me because I should have played more than what I I did. Was that under the brother managers? Yeah, under yeah, they, they um, were, they were, Nick, they're great guys. They got given so the keys. Uh, my, my, yeah, my, yeah, they did. My, uh, my girlfriend graduated from Lincoln Uni. Yeah, and at that ceremony, they got given like. The keys, keys to, to the city. City. Yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah. And it, you know what? Lincoln's a lovely place. Gorgeous, the the yeah. passionate, passionate uh, fan base. Good um, sausages. Good, yeah, good sausages. <laughs> and <laughs> great cathedral and mm. a great football club. And That's where it was, actually. I had a Ceremony. great time there. I, you know, I, it was weird because I definitely should have played more. I was scoring a lot of goals there, but the manager just never wanted to, to, to start me for whatever reason. And like, I won like the, the league's player of the month award and I didn't start a game. It was ridiculous things like that. As in the, you just won the award and then didn't play for the... I, I, I just, I, I was doing so well. I won the league's player of the month, I think in March, but I hadn't started a game. So it was just <laughs> like, <laughs> it was frustrating for me. <laughs> So that I mean, was how many it. goals did you get? Like, amazing. What was it? Like it six was, goals off the Did you get a goal to game? Then? I was like, I'm not being deluded. Wait, like, I should be minute. starting. Yeah. I think he got 45 and, 45 and 45. No, but no, but if he didn't start a game, Mate, that I means know. he was scoring pretty much every to, game. His goal to minute yeah. ratio yeah. would be through mental. the roof. Yeah. And yeah. Be like a Rigi. And if, yeah, yeah. Oh, important goals. I am Lincoln's Rigi. But I was so I went going back to my point. I I went back there. I got booed by you know quite a large section of the fans i got clapped and booed and that's part of it i love yeah, that it yeah. was fine and i would still clap the fans at the end i got no issue yeah. Fan, fans just they want to put you off they want their team to win yeah, yeah. i know if i went back into lincoln as a town people come up to me shake my hand yeah. chat yeah. chat to me and i've you know i've got a great relationship with, with all the fans but in a game they'll boo you that's fine if yeah. i went back to wimbledon next season and we get promoted and win wimbledon stay in league two even though i had a great time there and I did really well there and had a great, you know, all my family are Wimbledon fans and stuff. I'd expect to get some boos because it's part of football, but Mansfield was different. And it's your home it, it was Mansfield. Mansfield. Yeah, yeah, it was different. Mm. And as a young lad moving away from home, knowing mm. no one in, in a new area, and 
Oh, I just hated it. Mate, he, he even, he's not even just young people, though. Look at Xhaka, how he reacted when Emirates yeah. booed him. Yeah, he's yeah. done so well to turn it Oh, around. mate, our Bail. biggest comeback in football history, I swear. Yeah. But, like, even how much experience he has, he let that really affect him. Yeah, yeah. And he I, made I can't believe that he came back from that, Xhaka. When you think I was about there the, on the day. Like, swearing. Like, also, he threw the armband, didn't he? Yeah. When you think about yeah. what that captain arm, captain's armband at Arsenal is symbolic for, like, think about what is represented by that Arsenal captain's armband. That's like the spirit of Tony Adams and David Rocastle and you know Liam Brady and whoever. Uh, that's what that is. Aubameyang, oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but like to come back for, to disrespect that armband in that way and come back is huge. Yeah, like, huge. Yeah, but the, again, he's just a human being. He's yeah. got emotions. Yeah. Good, bad, sad, and ugly, and mm. it's just something that you have to deal with. And at that level, I, I've never been at that level. I couldn't imagine how hard it is when you've got hundreds of thousands of people booing you. And Scrutiny. Yeah. Uh, one of my one of my best mates plays at Newcastle. And when he was at Liverpool... Okay, I need to know who immediately. John Joe Shelby. Really? And I... This, happy years. This was he's year, a Newcastle fan. Is How is he? And, yeah, he's a top player, isn't he? I went... I, went, um, I remember going through his, his Twitter once and the comments that he was getting... Yeah, were bad. a yeah. disgrace. Yeah, like look at mine, I'm mate. not even going to comment what they were. <laughs> well, you're right, mate. <laughs> hey, you should have a look at mine, mate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so footballers get all that kind of stuff. Yeah, at yeah. that level, it's much more than what I'd but ever that's get. That's why they, they, I think nowadays they're taught like just mm. don't, don't go don't on it. Go, yeah, yeah. go on it. Post your stuff and yeah. come straight off it. Or just let yeah. a manager do it. I think that's what's happening now. And and I think it's sometimes a shame, they isn't post it? the wrong stuff sometimes and then they get in trouble. Yeah, I know the manager. Do you remember the the car? Is it Jolien Lescott? When he, let, he posted, like, my phone, my, my phone, my phone, yeah, 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 the one that, the one that cracked, the one that cracked me up is you know when you do the, when people do the copy and paste. If you could say something like, and then they copy the yes. whole thing yeah. and put the whole lot in. Your the manager tweet. said, if you yeah. could say yeah, something yeah, like, yeah, yeah. 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 was it Jolie and Lescott? No, it was Jolie hey, and Lescott with the car. With the car thing. It could, mate, it, 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 it could, it could have been tweeted from his pocket for all we know. Yeah. Um, what was your time like at Crawley? Cause they're one of my local clubs. Yeah, no, it was good. Um, when I went there, so I left Lincoln. I agreed after. Like, I feel like I'm fairly didn't play as much as I yeah. should have, and I wanted to get out of there. Um, I went to Crawley, and again, there wasn't that much ambition there in terms of just the happy being in League Two. So, I saw, Harry Kuehl tried to sign me the year before, um, and then obviously after I chose to sign. For Lincoln, I then went back to him and said, "Hi, yeah, you know, yeah. go, you st- yeah. you're for still there." <laughs> conversation. Yeah. No, no, yeah, I always wanted scorer. to. And he was like, yeah. "Good day, mate. Yeah. No, mate. Yeah. 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 <laughs> What's up, mate? Harry, you mate?" But I got be careful. No, I can't say that word. <laughs> can I? They use that word in Australia, didn't they? A lot, but <laughs> so, <Like that. laughs> so they, yeah, I was putting a sign for him. And do you know what? Like, he's, um, he's a great coach. Uh, is it, is he it? is a great coach. He doesn't get enough credit for how good of a coach he was because I think he went to Notts County, which was basically we were doing really well, but we were sitting in the playoffs, fifth or sixth in the league, yeah. which is cruelly overachieving. Yeah, everything was going well. Everyone's on fire, and we had a good squad. Like Philip, people like Philip Morace. Um, no, I, I got remain. I got Crawley down to the Premier League in yeah. uh, career mode. That's why we got during lockdown. Mate, Crawley in my team. They're like, I love Crawley. That. We were doing really well, and then unfortunately, Harry Kuehl thought it was best for him to leave and go to Notts County, who were rock bottom of the league. Why? I, th- I think the reasons behind it was he wanted to be closer to home, which was uh, Manchester for him, yeah, um, which is understandable. And I really thought he believed that he would save them from being relegated. Didn't. They're like a hero play, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, got sacked. Went to Oldham. Again, that club's just in turmoil. Yeah. It's just their second man just left, right and centre. Paul Skulls yeah, for one. Yeah. Four days Harry ago. Kuehl, that you know, you got a few weeks there recently just sacked another one. So I think a few bad footballing decisions have left him out of work. And I think he's a number two. I think he's actually got a job at either Rangers or Celtic in the Scottish Prem, maybe really? as like a number two, something like that. Um, you can look that up quickly just to clarify. Well, it's, more, it's more likely <laughs> to be that. Rangers, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Celtic, right? Because Angie's Australian. I'm pretty yes. sure. You, oh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, um, yeah, he'll be at Celtic. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. as a coach, he was unbelievable. And just to watch him doing drills, right? So he was he would take drills, and you would just be like, "I can't do it." Mate, yeah. he's such a good <laughs> and he would make it look he's so he's easy. Such a good I remember he scored a goal at I think Leeds beat Leeds beat Arsenal three two at the old Highbury, and the goal that he scored that day, you know, he's like, "Whoa, mate! What? Yeah. How are we not still talking about that goal?" You know, yeah. when you see these, like, I follow a lot of accounts of like oh, that put up old goals. 
that, there, there could be like a Harry Kuehl day, you know, just mm. like one an hour of Harry Kuehl specials. Yeah, he was a brilliant. He was a, yeah, he doesn't really get spoken of as much nowadays, does he? But he was an, um, I mean, I've seen it with my own eyes. Some of the stuff he was doing training as a and retired 40-year-old. That Leeds team, mm. Leeds team yeah. they got the semi-finals of the European Cup, didn't they? I guess it's a bit like Zidane when he was at Real Madrid, you're joining a training. And he was just the best player at training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After yeah, he yeah. yeah. yeah so I, I always find those stories really funny. I always think it's apparently, uh, apparently it happened. You know, like the good players, Mark Hughes, Glenn Hoddle. Whenever yeah. they went first into management, they were quite young. Uh, I think there was a story. It was Zola actually. Zola at West Ham. He was sort of moaning at somebody for not scoring a direct free kick. Like, mate, I can't do that. Like, you, yeah. can, you can do that. Yeah, I yeah, can't yeah. do it. It's it very funny. We had a similar thing at, at Leighton Orient, and um, Kevin Nolan came and trained with us and we were like Fuck it. and I know he's not in the <laughs> calibre of yeah, but even great, so, play, you great career you <laughs> yeah. but then obviously he became player manager and um, I think he had to drop himself in the end because he weren't playing <laughs> too well in the games but it, when he first came when he was fresh coming from West Ham in training we were like wow really yeah like you wouldn't believe how good he was and you wouldn't because he doesn't have the name of like the Harry Kules or yeah. or them big names from massive football clubs but when he came to us from West Ham really really well. <laughs> he really was good team as well good Kevin yeah. Nolan Kevin Davies Kevin Nolan Kevin Davies before, before we carry on I'm going to quickly run through the lineups of the, obviously we are watching the Germany v Japan game today um, I'm going to quickly run you through the lineups we'll do some quick score predictions Neuer in goal Starting over to Stegen, he, he, he obviously he's sort of the boss man, isn't he, in Germany? Suli, is it for Sula? Sula, Sully, Sully is a forward centre half. Why is he playing right yeah, back? Yeah, he is. Uh, Rudiger, Schlotter back, and Raum at left back. Kimmich, Gundogan, holding midfield. Front four of Gnabry, Thomas Müller, Musiala starts, and Kai Havertz is playing up front for Germany. Come on, Bayern! Quite interesting. Uh, Oh, no, Tommy it's Yasu. Much the team, isn't no, it? Tommy Yasu starting. Yeah, he's injured, isn't he? Oh, is he? Yeah. They've got Gondor in goal, right back, Saki, Yoshida, centre half, obviously ex Southampton, Itakura, centre half, Nagatomo, left back, holding the field as Tanaka, and Endo. Endo, is, wasn't he like. Stuck up. Yeah. Is he like the boy wonder kid back in the day, Endo? Yeah. He was, right? No, no, you, you lot are thinking oh, of Kubo, no? No, Kubo's yeah, one at all. Well, Ito on the right, the right winger, Ta Take on the left. Kamada in the cam and Maeda up front. Is a, is, this is going to be an interesting game, you know. Yeah, I, I, mate, I, that midfield you said for Germany, Gundogan, Kimmich, Muller, Nabry, Musiala on the left. Musiala no, playing on the left. As, as, a, as a pair, yeah. Kimmich, Gundogan is about as good as you could hope for, isn't it? Jo like, that's jo brilliant. Joshua Kimmich is one of my you love golden him, ball yeah. nominees for this. And, I, and I, I think Gundogan, even if we're talking about Premier League stuff at Man City, <laughs> Sorry, I think he's like genuinely brilliant. Gundogan. As yeah, I'll go, I'll go really quiet one. here, by the way, because my football knowledge is so shit. <laughs> is it? You just sport? <laughs> don't really sport anyone. Do you not? I followed United as a kid. Do you, do you have soft spots for form? Like, do you like to see Wimbledon? Do you like to see? Yeah, I, lo I love Wimbledon. No, like, I was happy there. Do you follow you know? Mansfield to hope that they've lost? No, I don't. Do you I've check got, their results to hope they've not lost? Not at all. Not at all. I'm, I've got no interest in them. I've right. just got zero interest. <laughs> yeah. but, it's almost worse. It's yeah. Like, yeah. Total apathy. Yeah. I'm yeah, not just, interested at all. No, yeah. I'm not. I'm genuinely not. But like Wimbledon, I check them. Sometimes I check Crawley because you've still got friends there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Wimbledon, yeah. I check every week because obviously I want to see them doing well and I've got quite a few friends there. Um, Are you invested in the World Cup? I've just brought out in. a clothing brand. I saw on your right, Instagram. Yeah, WXM clothing. Which yeah, is yeah. This. Come on. And nice. I, we've had so many. We've we've sold t uh, nearly over. Well, nearly just. Uh, so yeah, just under two thousand items. What? In two days, wow. and I was like, "What the fuck?" I what knew it would go well. I knew it'd go That's well. That's crazy. Yeah, crazy. So I knew it'd go well, and I thought, you know, we'll sell like a few hundred. We'll yeah. launch sell a few hundred, and you know, we'll slowly build. So it might kind of launch and go mad and then it will plateau a bit and we'll build. Yeah. It went ridiculous. Like absolutely ridiculous. So That's mate, yeah, what, that, so that's I actually sick. missed I actually I had to get my hands dirty for the first time in a while. I had to get <laughs> so down the factory. I, di I, di I didn't watch the England okay. game. Yeah, yeah. So which I was gutted about you because I was one. very yeah. I was very invested in the Euros, very much involved, watched every game, went to the final at, at Wembley. But yeah, I haven't actually managed to watch any World Cup stuff at the moment oh, because mate, this clothing brand. Well, yeah. enjoy this thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sit back, relax. Yep. Yeah. Uh, right, Rory, score predictions for today. Germany v Japan. Who are you going with? What's the, what's the score? I'm going for an upset. Are you actually? Yeah, I'm going for Another an upset. one. I mean, it is the World Cup of upsets. I'm going for an upset. I'm going World for a 2 1 victory to Japan. <laughs> it's just upset everyone. I think Japan is yeah. 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 isn't it? 
Group of death, anything can happen here. So, um, 200 Japan. Yes. These are my two to go Japan. through. No, nah, right. Germany aren't losing. Sorry. <laughs> All right, well, what, what's your prediction? Argentina. 3 1 Germany. 3 1 Yeah, you did say that. Yeah, to be fair, good point. 3 1 Germany. Germany. Argentina. Everybody would have said Argentina were definitely going to win. Yeah, of course. 2 1 Saudi Arabia, if you didn't say. What are you thinking, Theo, for this one? I think it'll be tight. No. A KG affair, some would say. No. Um, I'm going to go 2 1 Germany. 3 0 Germany. You are such a German fan. They're, gonna, they're I actually yeah. people. Are, people them. are writing them off this year, but they are the they the, they were no. the quickest team to qualify for this World Cup as well. Good for them. They've got a good team. <laughs> England, Trust me. England didn't win a game this year, pretty much. Miss us, Miss Yala. is yeah. No, the, he is the, the business. The team's good. You yeah. know when like obviously when Theo was reading out the squad, the the starting eleven there, you do suddenly go like there's a there's an abundance of class there. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, Japan are. A Japan solid good. side, I I, and these are my two to go through. I think Spain are going to bottle it this year. Do you know? Do you know? I'm going to. I've got. I've got one game in Qatar so that I'm definitely going to, and I've. I'm going to Japan versus Spain, in the. It's a third game in the group. Yeah. Battle of second place. Uh, the first. Oh, I'm so jealous. I'd love to go there for a game. Yeah, Theo's off tomorrow. Are you? Yeah. England. <laughs> so are you going to what? What have you got? England, USA. England, USA, England, Wales. Wow. Oh, sport the boys. Yeah. Honestly, lads, I'm telling you, we're bringing it home. I might watch the England Wales game in Wrexham. <laughs> that would be a good one. That would be a good surely, one. Yeah, surely, that might be a bit. <laughs> that might be a bit like. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, having a look. Nagatomo at left back. He's been around for years. So is Yoshida. Yoshida they have, has there's been an about experience. That's, yeah. that's a lot of experience at the back for Japan there. Yeah. Tommy, yes, where's Tommy? Yeah. He's on the bench then. Yeah. He must be all right. <clears throat> well, they, all, all 26 players are used. Yeah. Oh, it's the whole squad. Yeah, I noticed that. I didn't realise oh, that. I, thought that yeah. I noticed that so yesterday. So, you actually, so if you are in the squad, you actually have a chance of coming on. Yeah. All, all, all oh, players right. are taken to the game. Yeah. Oh, that's quite cool. You not I think that's dugouts? quite good. The dugouts are massive. They've got like the whole squad set up in the back of them. No. As a player, you would be very annoyed to go out there and just sit in the stands yeah. the whole time. So yeah, at least yeah. you feel at involved. You feel Have you noticed how many substitutes go on the pitch to shake hands after games, by the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're all getting their They're all getting their two minutes. Stop sharing. We'll get a taste of that, yeah. I've yeah, yeah, never yeah. seen a substitute yeah. walk on a pitch and shake everyone's hand in my life. If you were playing in a World Cup, would you swap shirts or would you want to keep the shirt that you've worn Depends who you could swap with. Well, you get two shirts. So I would keep my first half one. So I'd play my first. If you're playing first half, I'd keep my first half one, and then after the game, is that for is that for sweating? Two different kits. Every, see, this you don't change your you don't change your shorts and your socks. No, but you but change shirts. your shirt at half time. That's quite clever. Well, it's like sweating, it's like rain, sweat, yeah. But I don't anything. know why it makes a big difference. But you do go out feeling a little bit more clean. Yeah. So yeah. you would keep your first half shirt if you wanted to, or just from it's one game. Nightmare for the washing up. That. Yeah. You, you, you've d just doubled your load. Yeah. Speaking of swapping shirts, have you noticed no one went for Messi's after the Saudi Arabia game? They're all just so. Gas. Really? Wait, yeah. no one stopped showing Messi. Oh, they were, they were so trick, gassed yeah. that yeah. they won. I can guarantee there was a queue outside. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> afterwards, yeah. afterwards. Um, you know they've made a public holiday today in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, also, another fact. What you, for beating Argentina? Yeah, you know. Literally. But I tell you why. I tell you why. <laughs> that is the biggest upset in the history of the World Cup finals. I don't think so. Mathematically, it's, it is. Is it really? Statistically, they, they, surely, it's surely the biggest North, upset ever. North Korea, like USA, beat England. But it's based on uh, it's apparently it's based, it's based on ranking and form. Oh, really? Yeah, ranking and form. So Argentina went 39 games unbeaten. Because in in 66 as well, in 1966, I think North Korea beat Italy. Like that's that feels mad. Like particularly in 66. That's that you just said shows why Germany qualifying for the World Cup the quickest means nothing in football. Oh, I agree. Yeah. I, I, but I'm just yeah. saying that they have a history of. Yeah. I mean, they, they only won it to. World Cups ago, so yeah, that's what I mean. So yeah. it just shows that all form just goes out the window. Yeah, it's, mm. anyone can win any game, and that's unbelievable that they managed to beat Argentina. Cal saying Brazil losing seven one. Saudi beating Argentina is a bigger upset than Brazil losing 7-1 to Germany. No, but the yeah, deficit, the deficit is 7-1 yeah. though, man. Yeah, but it, it's it, embarrassing. Yeah, but look in like, a group game, mate, that they don't need to win as yeah, well. No, but that happens in football. Like when uh, the quality, Look at Arsenal losing 6-2 to United. Do you know what I mean? Like it happens. No, but it's, it, that was a semi-final of a World Cup. Yeah, but does, mm -hmm. it, and what, they lost by six goals yeah, in the semis. Off day, but you would, you, I would say... Yeah, but, it can and happen it, though. Do you know what it mate, like it, This is, this is how mental that was. David Luiz got signed for 50 million pounds because he scored a long range knuckleball free kick in the game before that as well. 
And then and then he <laughs> went on to concede seven goals. But that's the, the, the lad at Real Madrid who scored for James. No. Oh, no, who's the guy, the Colombian? Rodriguez. Sorry, you called him by his first name. I wasn't too sure. First name serves. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> James. He got a great move off of the World Cup. Literally yeah. one goal. I wonder yeah. who's going to get their move off this World Cup. Yeah, there's always there's That's always a, a standout player stand in international player, right? tournaments. Like Carol Poborski got moved to Manchester United off it. El Hadji Juf. Mm. El Hadji Juf got it. Remember when Senegal beat that was a big upset. Yeah, I remember actually. That. Senegal beat France in, in the O2. first game in O two and El Hadji Juf and Salif Jao both got their moves. It'll be Al, it'll be Alawasi or uh, what was his name yesterday? Mate, the keeper. The to go to Newcastle. <laughs> Mate, can we Mate, can we talk about it, some of the head injuries we've seen this time? Oh, oh my, my god. god. Theo, do you know what I saw today? I saw something that actually hurt my eyes and made me like really feel for for the lad you know the keeper and the, the collision between the saudi keeper and the saudi fullback yeah have you seen the yeah. x-ray yeah oh have no seen the I x-ray no. oh my god his face is effectively like cracked down the floor. oh yeah mate mate it's really oh. bad like the, the x-ray he can't play for the rest of the tournament surely no potentially he again won't, surely he won't, he won't play ever. Is, is that not potentially yeah. Not playing football ever again. Yeah. Look, look at that. Oh, oh his face is in half. Oh, mate. So where's he hit him? Then it's split down. I yeah. Got, I think the impact. Wait, is, was it the, the is it in the Qatar game or Saudi Arabia game? No, no Saudi Arabia. Is that real? He though? got need in the last. Yeah, so it's fake. It's fake. It can't make his face. Wait, that, you obviously, can't, it's fake because obviously you know not, it's fake. Mate, that can't be real. Why? His fucking face is split That's what in I'm half. saying. About it's, that's what I saw on the train, and I believe it to be real. No, that can't be real. That can't be real. Why though? Surely, because the so so skull yeah. split yeah. in half. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the, the, the impact that would require is probably like is an axe. Yeah, you've actually, had yeah. your pants pulled down there. Really? Yeah. You've had... No, <laughs> Elliot, you've got. Don't pretend, don't pretend you didn't oh, get shot as well. It's an x ray from years ago. Yeah. Is that not? Is it not true? It's an X-ray Mate, from years dead. ago. He'd be dead. His skull splitting up. Yeah, that's what yeah. I thought it was. <laughs> no, well, that's what had happened. I was like, he oh God, to be fair, life. to be fair, the fact that he walked off afterwards, if that was what his face looked like, his skull looked like, you go fuck me, mate. You're a maybe warrior. Maybe I misjudged it then. Mate, your, your skull don't split in half without a bit of blood coming out of you or something. No, he was bleeding, man. Yeah, he was. He was bleeding. <laughs> Head and nose fairly. <clears throat> yeah. All right, look, look what are you? You, are you rock hard. You, you, he is an expert yeah. on injuries, though, oh, to be yeah. fair. Like, if anyone's going to know about injuries, it what? will be me. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. And I've never had a split in half skull. It was, it was the worst click because also they, he had no idea that it was ha- going to happen. You know, like, I suppose you yeah. can brace for impact on some level. Saying that, you've, you've got a fairly. I just tasty... split my eye open, yeah, like, a couple Does it of weeks hurt ago. When it happened? Yeah, it hurt. You know, it the, hurt. You know, oh, yeah, fair enough. You know how sometimes when it's split. Do you know what? Eye. Actually, I had an x ray and it split all the <laughs> <Yeah. way. laughs> But you know how sometimes like, they get cut open and then they band it up and carry and play it? Yeah, I don't know. Because of the adrenaline in the game, though, right? Yeah, but, no, I mean, like, I sometimes. Did. did you carry and play it? I had to because. So my what? teammate split his eye open in the first half. It was a bit of a oh. dogfight game. He was able to go off and get stitches because it was early on in the first half. Came back on. I. Split my head. I actually thought I split my head open here. It, I, I felt like I thought this like I was gonna have a sl- yeah, yeah gash there, but it was here. Oh, that's such a cringe play. And then it's they just tenor. yeah, it, there was 15 minutes left, so it was a case of either come off, which yeah. I didn't want to come off, or what was the score at that point? One nil to you. Wait, yeah. So, did so they... I stayed on. We just strapped up, and I got stitched after the game. How the did they, how do they how do they keep it together? Just just no, nah, they just, just, it just you don't. What it is. You no. just just let the blood just comes through the bandage and then <laughs> and then you get it stitched after the game. Do you know the, do you know the artwork and the scar? I mean, it's, it's good not in great. a way because it, make, great, it makes it? you look really hard. Yeah. Which I, I, I'm quite up for like a bit of that. But it's like a pirate <laughs> so scar. Sorry. You know, you, like I can see the... Uh, I'm the... not. I'm not too impressed with how the doc done it. To be fair, I feel like. It's, <laughs> but he did say it was a really wonky yeah. slash. Wait, so. like, under yeah. here, like. He's yeah. and it's an awkward place. This, but... yeah. 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 yeah, Oh, I made a right pig's ear of that. Yeah. It was really wonky, mate. If you want one, it... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Rory, Literally. if you want one, it could be arranged. <laughs> well, no, I just couldn't take the pain. Oh, you couldn't take the pain. I couldn't take the pain. It looks. It looks so so. Yeah, it was so what happened, but. What's the What's the worst injury you've had? Be that. It's, nah, it's, it's not eye open. No, nah, the worst injury. I've not touch wood. There you go again. Yeah. Touch wood. So I um, <laughs> yeah, I did. I had a I ruptured, I ruptured my tendon in my hip. Ooh. Well, actually, I tore my quad and I was out for four weeks, six weeks. Came back too early. Ended up rupturing my tendon in my hip. Um, and I missed the whole season at Wimbledon. And it was something that no one could fix. I was seeing the best physios, doctors in England, going to where all you know the prem boys go. Mm. No one could fix it. I ended up 
about 10 months later going out to Spain to talk to Dr. Kugat. Um, oh, yeah. That's who the doctor, like, isn't it? Yeah. That is the doctor. People like Messi goes to him and Aguero, people like that. You pull in my pants down. No, 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 seriously. That yeah. He'll know. He'll no, actually. No, yeah. That, is, yeah. that is the doctor, yeah. And he the fixed doctor. me. He fixed me in about four weeks, yeah. annoyingly. Yeah, so. But did, what is, through surgery or just rehab? No, through rehab and PRP, which is where they take your blood. I had the PRP in England, but they obviously didn't quite get it right. They want to spin the blood. Yeah. yeah and then yeah. they oh, inject it back into the injury. Did you do it kicking the ball? So, so I actually got injured at Crawley. Go, I got injured at Crawley. Oh, my God. Japan! Oh, oh, then, I told you! Offside. Oh, oh offside. I didn't say anything. Oh, sorry. Yes. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> got into that, got into that Crawley, and obviously lockdown happened, and then I was out of contract, and I'd had a good season anyway, so I was trying to push for the best move I could. They wanted me to wait to sign for a new club, mm. and then say, oh, I've got an injury. I didn't want to do that, because I didn't want to start off on the wrong foot, and yeah. I needed to get it sorted. So I had the surgery, and then went to Wimbledon, and they knew I had the surgery. Oh, had so. my rehab there, and then just literally from the rec fem injury and stuff. And then anyway. No, but how did you, how, did, how was the original rec fem injury? I actually there? have no idea. It just happened. I just, it's one of them things you play a game and you wake up in the ne next morning. Oh, so you didn't find out until? No, it was a few days Shit. later. And then Crawley misdiagnosed me. They thought I just had all these other different issues. Yeah. And I ended up having surgery, signed for Wimbledon, came back after a few weeks of rehab. And then did this massive injury and missed the whole season. It was just wow. bad luck. And I think Wimbledon had, had had so many injury problems with their strikers. I became a bit of a, oh, we've got another one type Curse. of thing. Yeah. And I was like, I've never fucking been injured. I've never missed more than yeah. like four or five weeks of a season in my whole career. I've been playing tennis, that's, especially. That's impressive. So then I missed pretty much a whole season. I came back with about 10 games to go. Um, and played in all 10 games and we managed to come out of the relegation zone and we stayed out, which oh. was great. Yeah. Um, and then obviously I had a, well, I didn't have a full season. I left in January, but I came back to normal fitness and was playing. And then <laughs> when I was fit, I left, so. Um, but then obviously you signed for Wrexham yeah. after Wimbledon. How yeah. did that come about? Who, who came to you knocking? Oh, Ryan Reynolds knocked on my door. <laughs> so, <laughs> nah, well, they, yeah, they- um, Full Deadpool costume. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, man. <laughs> No, they just, they, they got in touch. <laughs> that would be Sorry, unbelievable. That's how, that that's how unbelievable. Wrexham signed everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dead bull rocks up at your door. I think he did speak to a few players before this time to try and entice them, but that didn't happen with me. But yeah, just throughout all of January, really, would you come? And I said, not really. And then obviously they're going back and forth with my agent and obviously the deal improved and then got a few more years and they offered me like a three and a half year deal and Wimbledon were not budging on giving me an extra year. They thought yeah. 29 was old. They were really, they had this like ridiculously young philosophy at the club and the guy involved with that has now <laughs> been sacked, yeah. <laughs> <Wow>. So, <laughs> and they've kind of changed it because you do need to have experience in the team. So his analogy with me, right, the guy in charge of recruitment at Wimbledon said to me, so he was like a gambler and he was quite successful in gambling. And I said to him, well, if we played poker, who would win, you or me? And he said, well, I would. And I said, why? He said, well, I played it more. I said, exactly. That's called experience. And you're... Oh, you it backfired on him. And he was like... Ugh, uh, uh. <laughs> and this was literally like a week before I, uh, I'd left. Yeah. And, you know, he had nothing to say to that. And he's just stuck with this whole, we're bringing in 19, 20-year-olds. And that yeah. was kind of the downfall in that moment, unfortunately, for Wimbledon. And now they've gone and recruited more experienced players and it's good to see him actually picking yeah. up and doing well now. Do that. It's a ridiculous, ridiculous. It was ridiculous. It's, it's part of the reason why Liverpool struggled earlier in the year. Yeah. Like, you know when they had, a, they had a midfield? They had they had James Milner in midfield playing alongside Harvey Elliott. James Milner was playing Premier League football before Harvey Elliott was even born. <laughs> They're not going to be a good pairing. It's a father-son combination. You need the, you need the 28, 29-year-old geezers who yeah. are in there ready for the fight, know what it's all about. You can't build a team on either total experience. Or no, total you need team. to have a mixture. That's the healthiest combination, mm. 100%. You so. Obviously, you do get your move to Wrexham, three and a half years. And I also, I know you were talking about three and a half years, especially at that level of football. It's a long time. It's, it, but yeah. it's, I think it's very important, isn't it? So you it have is, the security, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, 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 of course. I mean, that was the biggest thing for me at 29, turning 30 in that January window. I wanted security and Wimbledon wouldn't give me that, yeah. even though I was done very well for them and the, I know that my performances were quite key to how the team yeah. played and again they can't, maybe they took that for granted a little bit and decided that they'd rather the money than keep me there and unfortunately when I left in January the club didn't win a game 
um, from January to the end of the season. <laughs> Jesus and, Christ. And <laughs> end up getting relegated. <laughs> That's not good. January to the end of the season. What a key component you were. No, nah, so, yeah, ended up, you know, the club made it a bit of an easy decision for me. And it was hard because I'll tell you, this, this is true. This sounds fucking pathetic. And I would laugh at anyone that done this because I'm not that kind of person. I fucking cried when I left Wimbledon. Yeah, I went in to see the lads and the coaching staff and I cried. No one knows that. that. I was gutted to leave. Yeah. Fear yeah. cries yeah. after we end every pitch. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, that's just from reading the comments. And I'm not that guy. And I would always laugh. I'd be like, look at that weasel cry. That's pathetic. Like, get a grip. See someone crying on a pitch in an interview. I'm like, grow up, mate. But I was not that guy, but I did. That. Somebody's got it. just hits yeah, you. Just, and yeah, I didn't want to leave. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to leave and I was so happy there. But to be fair, I'm at Wrexham and if anything, I'm just as happy, yeah. if not happier. It's just amazing. Immediately. immediately. The yeah. lads are unbelievable. It's obviously a slightly older changing room yeah. than what yeah. I had at Wimbledon. Great bunch of guys. Did you have to do, do uh, the initiation? They don't do it there. It's the only club I've ever not really? had to no do it. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. No, there's none. I, I don't suppose know you have got a bunch of cameras going around. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not really camera shy, so I wouldn't be too worried about seeing. No, but how noticeable are football they? initiations? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Really it's, it's a full <laughs> crew. Are they there every day, or is it like most days? Re really? Yeah, and is it's it full a full access? crew. Is it full access? Full access. Yeah. So Still they said, I crazy. remember they signed. They said, "Look, Ollie, you know we're always going to be filming you through the good times and the bad. So if you know you come in at half time and we're there, please don't like punch the camera or tell us to fuck off or anything like that." It's true though. Like, yeah, it's true because obviously, yeah. Sometimes you're just losing two at half time. You've got a camera there. Yeah. And yeah. You just like, fuck. Yeah. He said disgrace. Yeah. So, yeah, the camera crew are there a lot. Obviously, I don't know if you guys have seen Welcome to Wrexham, but yeah, yeah. it's won um, some awards. And Wait, it's, Ryan it's, it's and Rob. It's got the insight. It's just so good. Ryan and Rob have filmed, <laughs> like, you know, some amazing content. And the way they put it together, I think it's really good. And they've got the community element. They've got the football. I think it's like 50% Rob and Ryan, yeah. which is what you need yeah. because that's what people that's, are buying into. Yeah, exactly. And it's 25% football, which I'd like it to be a bit more than that because mm. obviously they've been with us every day for longer than what I've been there. And then 25% of the community. Maybe we should like cut Rob and Ryan's yeah. time out. Get them out. 40%. <laughs> you, want, you want some more yeah. highlights in 4K? Yeah. 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 Cut them to 40% and then give the, the community and the, and, the, and the football team a little bit more airtime. But it's, it is really good. Yeah. And what they've, what they've created, I think, what well, I say the world. I don't know if I should say that loosely or not, but... I, I would agree. I think the yeah. world is a fair assessment. Is, it's everywhere, isn't it? It yeah. is everywhere. And... Yeah. People are buying into it and it's great because I'm so happy for Wrexham because it is a team that's kind of been on the back burner and it's great to have them kind of put on a pedestal. And by the way, North Wales is like the most beautiful place. Mm. Yeah. And I, I cannot believe, including myself, people don't know more about North Wales and like go on holiday there. It is gorgeous. Yeah. Some of the places, honestly, I can't believe more people don't know about North Wales. My parents go on holiday there. Not that it's so relevant. Real. But it, yeah. you laugh because people think, oh, it's just North Wales. It's it's, some yeah, of the places yeah, really are absolutely, yeah. honestly, out of this world. I yeah. can't believe it's part of the UK. Well, you know, it's got so big now that, uh, is it Wrexham or the actual series is getting shown on ESPN? Wrexham matches Wrexham are now on ESPN. ESPN yeah. So I feel like you lot are getting like this American like yeah. fan base. The that is, mm, second team. Yeah. It, it, no, it actually is. Yeah. Like it actually is. Like it's, it, For the actual, uh, what I liked about the series at the start, they give you like a background on Wrexham. Yeah. And, like where this they're from. Important. Like, it's important. I didn't know about like the owner, like basically like, secretly selling them that. out and, stu and you know, Bad, all that sort of it? stuff it's crazy all that stuff goes on and, and it, it's sad the for the community yeah. you see how reliant the community is on the football club yeah and people say people get jealous in the football world oh you know fuck Wrexham we don't want them to win the league they've had all this money pumped in what about all the bad times that they've yeah. had yeah. what about all the shit that they've all had? the shit they've injured and yeah. like for years and, and years years they used yeah. to play in Europe yeah. and now they're just this national league club to us of mm -hmm. our era mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't you know I yeah. didn't know that and I've I was never a part of that. Well, so when you think of like the Welsh clubs, you think of Swansea, you think of Cardiff, don't you? you don't mm. before maybe before this, you wouldn't think of Wrexham. They were the small clubs. Mm. Yeah, when Wrexham was in Europe. Yeah, there they was a the time when Wrexham. Well, there was that famous one, wasn't it? they? Beat? Oh, they knocked Arsenal out of the cup. Mickey Tom. I remember that. Like, you know, when they do cup upsets, that was one of them. Yeah, yeah. Knocking knocking Arsenal out of the cup was like a big thing for Wrexham, and mm. they were certainly one of the. They were one of the sort of. Yeah, they they were they were probably at one point. The big, the the best club in Wales. We are now. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, come on. What the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have Have you experienced any more 
or much more animosity since the doc's been released through like jealousy of other fans and no no no, not at all that it's just overwhelming it kind of the american and canadian and australian they're the three countries that i noticed the most right um anything ever said on the pitch by other well yeah i was gonna ask i I know it's not i mean i find that this league is the lariest like there is is it? A, yeah, like League One, League Two players just getting on with their jobs. Yeah. It's, you know, you might end up having a bit of a scuffle with someone, but yeah. if you get some players in this league in the conf- in the National League, right, and they'd be giving you a bit of stick, a bit of like, you know, talk, talking shit. And I'm Put like, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I literally don't even know yeah, who you are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why, are you t- what, don't talk, don't, why are you talking to me? Yeah. Do you, I can't believe it. I'm like flabbergasted. It's part like, of the game though, is it? Do you, like, it's it's do you know what it is? Yeah, like yeah, but the shouts are outrageous. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, they're outrageous shouts. You think, who the fuck are you? Yeah, yeah. brilliant. Like, you well, don't get that I know it's one. not on the same level, but like when I, I've made my own Sunday League team and would upload cam- uh, highlights and stuff each week, especially at Sunday League, we used to get targeted, like targeted mm. off. Put that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> fucking get that. Yeah. Fucking yeah, piss yeah. off. But it's just like you get target. You like people make it their mission. It's like their FA Cup final to beat yeah, yeah. you. So you found that. I think yeah. I mean, some people like to say that in the change room. A number of people don't like to say it in the change room because we sometimes it could be using it as an excuse that we haven't won a game or whatever. But I mean, I I haven't lost a league game at for Wrexham at home. Since I've been there in oh, January, that's class. Um, oh, I the, think, new, the new Van Dyke. Yeah. I think, I think well, we only drew. No, the new one. Oh yeah, I'm gonna say. I yeah. think we only drew one. We had ten men. I'm trying to think of another league game that we haven't won at home. Yeah. So I think teams do come to the race course to like. I can imagine their change room is like, fuck these arrogant yeah, cunts. Yeah, 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 they think they're Hollywood. Da da da. Hundred percent. I would be the same in the other changing room. Yeah. But then. Out on the pitch, nothing really gets said about it. And to be fair, as a group of players, it is a really humble um, down to earth group of players in our changing room. And the gaffer's done well to recruit that type of person to then deal with what's going on. Yeah. So we're just getting on with what our job is, and that is to get Wrexham promoted. Yeah. So we don't, like, it doesn't come up. No, it doesn't come up on the do you pitch. Give it, in like, our, other from, shouts come out. Away like, from the dock, do you give it any, are you that kind of player? Do you have chats with centre halves and things like that? See, I'm like, when you say chats, what can you elaborate? Like would you would you say do do you have any interaction with the opposition centre half? Sometimes. So you will purposefully but say something to I try will, and gain an edge. Yes, not all the time, because if I'm just going about my job and things are going well, then um, and they and they leave me to do my job and they're not gobbing off, then I probably won't actually do anything. But if they're kind of saying stuff early yeah. doors, I think I'm just gonna fucking get into you now yeah, all game. Yeah. And it. every time something happens, I'm just gonna... So we we were playing a team, I'm not gonna say it was, but we were playing a team a few weeks ago and every time, you know, they were just kind of shelling the ball and I just kept going, oh my God. Like every time I was like, <laughs> you are shit. Like, <laughs> is this how, you, this ain't fucking football. Like, and then every time like, I would be like 10 yards away and he would clear oh. and I'd just be like, wow. <laughs> like every time just didn't leave him alone. But in other games, yeah, other games I won't say anything. Um, we played Oldham a few weeks ago and their centre half had said a few things because they were 1-0 up and uh, Elliot Lee was coming on, one of our big signings, but he was on the bench this game and I just said to him, I was like, you're fucked now. <laughs> and, and we ended up winning the game 2-1. Did he score? He didn't score. Oh, that would have been oh, the cherry on top, wouldn't yeah, it? it, it I don't think he scored. He might kill me for that. I don't think. No, he didn't score. Ben Toza scored and then Paul Mullen scored a penalty in the 90. Classic Sixth Paul minute. Mullen. Yeah, Lovely. good player, top player. So, but I, that's how much confidence I have in my teammates and yeah. stuff. And I just said to him, he, he, weren't, he wasn't giving it too bad, but I just went to him, you're fucked now. <laughs> and I just knew we were going to win the game. What's the biggest, di- obviously, apart, aside from the quality, what's the biggest difference you found from like League One, League Two, National League, and like Sunday League? Well, Sunday League, just, yeah, just. Is it people playing you guys constantly. would be funny, wouldn't it? Yeah. But no, in the National League, I think, I, I think teams give up, especially at home at the race course. Teams just give up, which I think is embarrassing. Mm. Um, I know well, some when you, when you go one or two ahead, yeah, really? they give up, and that's why a lot. Of, that's why we scored the most goals at home in in the country this season, or we might have just scored the most goals in the country. Full stop, something like Jesus. that. But I think teams just give up. We go two, three, and like we've won like. We've won like six one, yeah, three or four goals, times, yeah. five nil. Yeah. We had a ridiculous game which was seven six. That was just stupid. I remember yeah, that. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Mate, yeah. We, were, we were in the chat all together. Yeah. Like, what is yeah. going on? Well, yeah, that was just yeah, that was a seven six. That one we weren't proud of at all. Gaff was fuming. <laughs> but you know, 
that was in and amongst winning six one every week, five nil, five one, six nil, and it was we. I think teams just give up, which I think is a bit of a shambles, really. Yeah. Away from home, they don't give up because they're at home. Yeah. And that's why sometimes we might just win one nil when people. Our away form isn't terrible, but people. It's not where people want it to be, which is basically winning every game yeah. like we do at home. I almost feel like if we was to win 2 0 at home, fans would go home being like, fuck's sake. Should yeah. be fine. Because, yeah, that's the expectation, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, which is fine. That's what we've created for ourselves, and it's, it's, it's good in one way. It's amazing how quickly expectations can change. Mm. Yeah, they're through the roof at yeah. home. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the resident Newcastle fan is a great example of that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. You're, you're going to be pissed off you don't get into Europe. When really, you should just be happy you're not getting relegated. Yeah, yeah. Title challenge. Do you see what, <laughs> do you see what happened? Ago. Ago. Title challenges. He was annoyed that you said Europe. He's like, wait, what? what? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not Champions not League. It's been yeah. 12 but months be since fair, they were like... Do you know what? I've got a chance. I got on the train on the way here today and uh, we were talking about Newcastle and... They haven't, it was like, oh yeah, they've got loads of money. I'm like, they haven't gone and bought anyone ridiculous. No, yeah. They're smart they've with it. they bought people like Chris Wood. Yeah. You don't expect him to go and yeah. send you into Europe. Yeah. But he's Dan very Burns. He's you very don't... clever, Eddie Howe. But yeah. doing it right. Exactly. It's a good clever. manager with, yeah. with, with a good group of people behind you in the changing room. You can go and achieve good things. And to be fair to him, you know, obviously Burns as well. These are not world class, game changing. Mm. This is what's very impressive about Eddie Howe though. It seems like he's signing... You know, you know, if you want to sign like the the footballer is obviously the priority. You have to sign a player that's very good at football. I but think he I think signed he the signs person men. first. Yeah, 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 he signs the person. Like, yeah. I think he makes sure that they're ready to be part of a team. They're going to buy into the project. They're going to be uh, into his style of yeah. intense football. You know, he's that, got that thing emblazoned like intensity written everywhere. I think people always sign the well. Good managers nowadays it's so important to sign the person first. Yeah. Online, my manager rung rung about. Eight people before signing. That's how I knew. Well, before signing, yeah, they were yeah, like, "Ah, oh, Phil what, Parkinson's rung me about you. Phil Parkinson's rung me about you." So you yeah, do yeah. your due diligence and make sure you get good people in. Because right. once they're signed, if they're a dickhead, you're fucked. Well, Ronaldo yeah. to Newcastle could happen. Yeah, or Bamiyang to Chelsea. I don't, think, I don't think Eddie Howe would be behind that. I'd I'd love to what. see him go to PSG. No, yeah, I would. Just to play with Messi. I would. I'd love for, so for, 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 for the for culture, yeah. for football. Yeah. By the way, Germany are all over Japan at the moment. Yeah, but Rory, in your defence. I can definitely see a Japan counter-attack Japan, coming Japan on. had the goal disallowed. It was oh, so frustrating. Yeah. Because, it, it, where do you sit on this? It winds me up so much. You know when a centre-forward is offside, but they don't have to be? Like, it, he would have made that pass. Like, you see, it happened yesterday, actually. You know Argentina had all those goals disallowed? That's how I'm there were a few of them where you're like... Lazy, lazy so play good. or...? Well, he just went early. Like, yeah. you know, the, the timing of it was just like, you don't need to be ahead there. You know, in the first half, half of that game... game know, isn't it? The first half of that game... Fucking hell! Yeah. <laughs> Rory, we've seen you down power league. Fucking front seat driver. Back <laughs> where he's gone. Front seat driver. Back where he's gone. No, but the, pro the problem is, as well, a lot of them, you know when they're standing on the wing and like the forward's standing on the wing? Oh, VAR. You see across the, the line. Exact, VAR penalty exact, check. Handball, wasn't it? The exact same view as the linesman. And yeah. Probably... Yeah, yeah. So this, oh, is, how, this is how but bad Argentina... it's just Argent... fine margins, isn't it? Mm. This is how bad Argentina were. Uh, the amount of offsides they had in that first half yeah. yesterday. 10, wasn't it? Three was, offside goals. was more than they had in their entire 2018 campaign. Yeah, 10 offsides in one game. But three the offside off goals. I saw... Yeah, yeah, and, and the, the Martin, back, Martin, the Martin, 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 Martin has scored, yeah. but the VAR didn't take into account, uh, into account the left back yeah. who played him on side. I know, it's just shambles, what? isn't it? It's made. Balling, isn't surely, it? surely you have, there's an investigation. But I would also say, you know, to make it... Could have cost them the whole game. Do you know what? could cost them getting through the group. We're making it sound like Saudi were robbed. And they weren't. No, no yeah, they weren't. They, they weren't. weren't. But I think that the penalty that they can see, you know, they were one 0 down at half yeah. time. Messi scored the penalty. There's no way that that was a worse challenge than the Harry Maguire one. No, no, I, I, I don't. Yeah. Do you think Messi's was a penalty? I, th I think it. I think the foul that led to the Messi penalty is possibly a foul, but it's not a foul when you saw Harry Maguire's not yeah. given the day before. Yeah, I just <coughs> don't think it's a foul. I just you have to understand it's part of the game. It's a contact sport, and yes, he's grappling with him, but because he falls over, because. Yeah. The, the the Argentinian player falls over and then the defender falls over at him. It looks worse, yeah. but it's just a bit of light grappling. Also, That's you, just you know normal. The, you, know yeah. the, you know this desperation to kind of stop grappling at corners. I don't really want to. Like it's I don't a, want. Like yeah. You're, you're like <laughs> I don't want that. It's That's how I defend my <laughs> set pieces. <laughs> it's your responsibility as a striker to be stronger than the defender, and it's your responsibility yeah. as a defender to be stronger than the striker. Yeah. Like you, 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 you have to have some physical. No, it's a contact pieces. sport at the end yeah. of the day. It's just ridiculous. Mm. It's getting a little bit soft, but you have to have a little bit of like common sense of it. Yeah. Well, that comes into doesn't it? The common central. <laughs> 
common sense rule. My, one, of my, no one, common one, sense, one of my, one of my <laughs> things to fix football was to introduce a common sense rule. Where it's just, just don't be an idiot. That's where just, you get like yeah. five fans on the on the panel yeah. that can help influence the decision <laughs> in the football saying, match. <laughs> what, can I, what, what can I say? Mate, it's going to happen. Uh, what do we think of the um, the new the new stoppage time rule? I like. There's it. been so there's been so much minutes. stoppage time. Yeah. What is the new rule? Is there an actual rule? Um, so it's to avoid time wasting. So basically, any time wasting that happens in the game gets added on to the clock at the end of the match. So is that every not game, normal? Every half is like ten minutes at a time. Is that not normal though? Like to no. add in. Well, how, how many? So yeah. if you kick the ball away, the thirty seconds gets added on. That's quite normal. Yeah, but yeah. normally you see like what four minutes tops, maybe. And like, yeah, average. these see, are like we're seeing like twelve minutes, minutes at a time. So they're uh, just being strict on it. Yeah, so super like, strict. Virtually every game has gone over a hundred minutes. I yeah. quite like that because hey, actually, do you know how much a ball is out of playing football? It's, it's like, fucking yeah, it's ridiculous. It's like 50 minutes. Yeah, yeah it's like ridiculous. In, in the conference, it's like 85 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh! It's just, I think, I think it's quite nice. Yeah, I agree. I don't think And it will stop people from time wasting. Yeah, it does. Because goals will get scored in the 98th minute. There was Wait, a moment in really... that Saudi game. At the end of the Saudi game, it was just going on and on yeah. and on. You're just like, this is so desperate. It's, it's like, going into the 100 brilliant. plus 100 minutes. Like, well, they were rumouring that it might happen in the Premier League. Because oh, the amount not? of issues of time wasting that they've had recently. I mean, it's, I'm for it. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Fuck it. Well, Football's you, on for longer. For it. Yeah, it's you, You'll have 110 minute games every game, mate. <laughs> yeah, Newcastle <laughs> time waste merchants. You are. No, just get crumbed. Yeah. Just get, yeah, but that, that, that gets added on, doesn't it? It gets added on. It served us well last year. We played Dover. We were also chasing the league title. That's a long way to go. Yeah, you guys probably wouldn't have done as much research to look back this far. But so when I signed, this was... April time, we're going for the league title. Dover, bottom of the league, not won a league game all season. Relegated in like early doors. It was set up to time waste. We were losing 5-2. What? We hadn't lost a home game, like I said. We were losing 5-2 to relegated, to relegated side. Dover with one point, oh. not won a league oh, game Germany. all season. Oh, Germany, sorry. No, Carol. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we were 5-2 down. What happened? They just played, they just had the game of their lives. We were 25 minutes, we won 6 5, and we what? scored in the 97th minute. It was mental. Like, oh, limbs. Were there a lot of, were there a lot of Wrexham fans down there? Did they go? It was a full house. It was at home. Was, we were at I home. I was at home. Yeah, you should have. Oh, it was mental. It was actually the best game I've ever been involved in in, yeah, in my amazing. career. Did it go mad? Yeah. In like, and in terms of like level for level, it's like it's a historic game. It was, honestly, you speak to people about it now. It's, the season just gone. In last season, we were going for the Did league. Mullins we had to win every game. Goal? No, so I think Mullins might have scored the first or second. I scored the third and the fourth Come on. to go 5-4. And then Jordan Davies scored the fifth and the sixth wow. in like the okay. 90th and the 96th. But it, we celebrated like we won the league. So we had to win that game. Hey, that's crazy. We didn't that's win the that's league. That's genuinely crazy. <laughs> didn't win the fucking league. Oh, uh, we've got, so we've got Angel in the chat. He's in the chat every single week. Hello, mate. He comes in with the $10, man. So is this a viewer? It's a viewer coming in with a question. He goes, here, to, here or maybe not a question. Here just to say, hope you lot are doing good and staying healthy. There you go. Here's a question. <laughs> Let's <laughs> test your knowledge. True or false, a country once made an artificial earthquake. earthquake <laughs> true. After their country scored. I think this is true. I think true. I remember yeah. seeing about it. Yeah, seeing it. it was uh, Mexico. But it's called it artificial earthquake. It sounds like it's yeah, been yeah, made. He's, and, he's, and, he's, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. answered the question before I said the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's Mexico. True. It might be Mexico, yeah. It is, yeah, it's true. It's Mexico. Because uh, Angel's from Mexico. Yeah. You, Mexico City, so Lozano, versus Germany. Lozano versus Germany called an artificial earthquake. I can't talk today. <laughs> I actually can't talk. Um, Go back to Wrexham, mate. Have you had any interactions with the boys up top? The owners of... Rob we meant me and Moles then. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, you'd hope so. Right? Yeah. Oh, 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 pen. Yeah, he's giving it. Penalty. Penalty, penalty. penalty to Germany. Yeah, that was. We'll, 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 should we touch on this after? We'll touch yeah, this foolish. after the pen because this. this <laughs> oh, what's going on? Oh no! Oh silly, no! Silly goalkeeping there because he was. He'd actually done the hard bit. He'd sent he in the other yeah. way. He'd yeah. sent in the other way. That's rough, you know. You know, it's, be, it's about Germany being all over Japan. They've been defending round? inside their own box. I just realised Goretzka. Nagatoma used to play for Inter Milan, right? So he's sending him back. Oh, that's oh. so bad. Oh. That's what? so bad. Do you know what? He doesn't get that if he doesn't bundle him over. No, exactly. no he doesn't. He didn't need to foul him. It's, it's the second. This is a. This looks like a. This looks like a slip. Do you that's know a what? Dive. He, sl he slipped. That's, that's a dive. That's a dive. Yeah, the, the first, first one's a dive. The second one, he jumps on him. Back into the floor. Stupid. 
stupid. Oh, it's going to VAR, is it? He could get booked for given. the dive before the foul. Yeah. Do you get much of that in National League? Uh, so I feel like in National League, if you, even, you, know, you know, it's like if you like even attempt to dive in National League, you're Just, getting you fucking disgrace. Yeah. 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 To be fair, with someone that woke and dived, someone nah, someone that woke and dived, and I ran the left of the pitch just to get in his face, and I got booked for it. So Did I remember you, oh. that was a few months, that was a couple <laughs> months ago. Yeah, yeah. Because you don't see it that often, and it was right embarrassing. Yeah. Pathetic. Sometimes it's just yeah, like, yeah, we're right booked. out of my way. <laughs> we're the furthest that, that. furthest I've run actually in the game. Oh, it's a penalty. It's a penalty. Who's taking it? Gunderman. He's a captain, isn't he? He's got a new haircut. Oh, no, no, he's a captain. Quite a harsh penalty, I thought that. Quite harsh. National Penny. League's like a working class. Yeah, man. it is. People yeah. like, and that's why fans fall in love with it. They go from that from a prem game to to one of our games, and they don't go back to prem games. Hey, we need to come mm. to the honest match. to God. Yeah, that'd be cool. I would love to go. You have to come up for a weekend. I would that'd love to. Do yeah. a podcast in the changing room. On I'll the make Sunday. that class. Oh, yeah. That'll be class. Good one steps up for Germany. Right. Oh, oh down the middle. Good goal. Down the middle. One nil Germany versus Japan. Player, oh. Oh. Do you Such not think player. as a, you know, if you're taking a penalty in a game, why would you not go down the middle every time? So, because you can look foolish. Yeah, it makes you look silly if you do. I'm not on penalties at Wrexham. Because? But, because Paul Mullin was there first. Oh, right, right. <laughs> but five of my six, the last six went down, gone down the middle. I might have Wait, to change it after. Yeah, don't, 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 don
Is there like a Four Seasons Wrexham? There's some nice places in, you know, around, <laughs> in and around Wrexham. Hilton. Um, they, is there? they stay in a hotel, I think like 15 minutes out of Wrexham, which is a lovely hotel. Um, it's got a massive golf resort and stuff. But oh, I think, catch me there. Um, yeah, I think they're looking at, you know, you don't play. they've got their own stuff going on with yeah. how they're going to, what they're going to do when they come over and stay and whatnot. But they're very, mu- they they love it. It's not facade. See That's it behind sick. the scenes. Really and good, yeah. I've got, a, I've got a fantastic relationship with Ryan. Um, Less so, Rob. Or? I've got a great relationship with Rob. We just speak less. Right. Um, Stay in touch. You know, if you've had a big win, does the does the every time get a t- yeah. every time I get a message from Ryan. Wow, that's it. Um, Is there a group chat that you're in? No, but or it's it just was, an individual. Face so I've got well. so I chat to Ryan privately. I sometimes chat to Rob privately, and then I've got a group chat with Rob with me and Moles that he made. <laughs> and, <I'll, laughs> and then I've got a group strikers chat, union. And then I've got a group chat with. Uh, moles that Ryan also made. So there's a few like, <laughs> but they're just Is like it, normal guys yeah, now. Yeah, like, am I sensing a bit of striker favoritism? Nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> glamour position. Oh, they, they, they might have a defenders chat. Yeah, they might exactly. Never, I never highly, I, mean, yeah. I swear to God, I highly doubt <laughs> yeah. there's a defenders chat. There's, not, oh, there's no way there's oh, a chat. Like, it's going to be a goalie chat. Goal, the goalie and the reserve goalie and, and, and Rob and Ryan. No way is that I know, I know. Let me just say, I know they're, they, you know, I know a few of the lads speak. It's just not really that spoken about. Yeah. They'd be treating like normal guys. I don't go in and be like, oh, I spoke to Rob or Ryan last. Yeah. Like, just the other night we were just texting, just talking about shit. Like, it was just, that's just how it is now. And I'm sure it's the same for quite a few of the lads. Yeah. And they're very invested and they're very generous with their time for the football club and the players. And they're just good people, like genuinely are good people. Do you people. know what? I, I bet they're more invested and invested on a personal level than the majority of owners in football. I Times a hundred. Yeah. yeah. I guarantee you that There's not that a, that's I, true uh, compared to, say, Todd Bowley at Chelsea. I don't think he's texted anyone. At, I don't no. think he's got a group chat. Ronaldo. I bet he's texted Ronaldo. Yeah, yeah. He's he would have texted Ronaldo chat. and that's it. But there's no way that there, there is s- a group chat with Mason Mount, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, and Gu- and Thiago Silva. And Grandpa. And, and, <laughs> You're mixing and positions there, mate. Yeah, I would never yeah, have yeah, Do you get a group yeah. chat between like Erling Haaland, Alvarez and Pep Guardiola? <laughs> yeah. There could be. Yeah. Just yeah. like, just for, so uh, we, me, the gaffer and Moles do have one and sometimes he just wants to put information in there. Yeah. So it's not a social one like the other ones, but it, they probably have got some sort of work in because it's uh, just an easier way of communicating. Are yeah. they allowed in your... Uh, squad group chat or is it is there just the that, squad just no the guys no no one else just players so there is, <laughs> that, a, is there is there, be carnage, is there, there? Is, <laughs> there is a there is a manager there's like a staff group chat of all the players in when a message gets put in yeah. there's zero response everyone's everyone's, everyone's like like full this. stop and we're like yeah, thank like, you gaffer yeah, 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 yeah. 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 where are you meeting Thoroughly the coach yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> meeting the coach in oxford please yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um but there's a players group chat where just loads of fucking uh, waffle yeah, yeah, goes yeah, of on. Course, of and course. like I said, I'm in a change where everyone gets on. Yeah. So, yeah. especially with the World Cup right now and people from different places around the world, you know, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of banter going on. Yeah. Like but it's good group of people, so. Do, do you, is it the same as like, say you got a game on the Saturday. Mm. When do you find out who's in the squad and how do you find out? Every manager's good? different. Sometimes you find out. Some managers, I mean, at Wimbledon, we remember... Mark Robinson was new to the job and he said, I'm going to name the team on the Monday. And we were like, Are you fucking sure? Five days Monday. Before. Yeah, we were it's like, so how do you even fight for your shirt if yeah. you're not playing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that was kind of, that. and to be fair, he held his hand up two weeks of getting his first managerial job. He's like, I was fucking way off it there. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but it's Tuesday. That's important, though. That's yeah. a big, that's a big thing. No, he did. He's and evolved. He, yeah. Is, yeah. he is hands down one of the best man, man managers I've ever worked with. Yeah. And he had his philosophy and his philosophy was amazing. And, and it was really working for most of the time. But like I said, I think... Obviously, me leaving didn't help, and a few other players maybe, and getting the right players in was, you know, a mixture of it. But he came in with his philosophy, and most of it was unbelievable. But that one comment was just like we were like, as players, that might not. <laughs> and two weeks in, it was like, sorry, lads, like, yeah, I'm gonna name it on a yeah. Friday. <laughs> um, so generally speaking, on a Friday, some managers like to do it on a Saturday where they just put the name on the team sheet, and yeah. for me, <sighs> heads just roll. Yeah. Like, you, it goes up. Well, you walk in and it's up, and you're like, nah, yeah. Yeah. that's a fucking disgrace. Or yeah. Yeah. People are like, And then you and take it, that you take, take that mood it. with you to the and game, And it's in right? the changing yeah, room, yeah. and someone's got a fucking drop lip, and you just yeah. think, that's not good for anyone. Yeah. And it's selfish as well, but it's just hard to sometimes control your emotions. Mm. So you name it on a Friday, everyone gets it out of their system. Most people 
even Sleep if you're not in the team, come in, come in bouncing yeah. on Saturday, yeah. they're ready, they know they're going to make an impact in the yeah. game. Um, so generally speaking, on a Friday, you can sniff it on a Thursday with how he's doing yeah. things, and then Friday. And is it is it like a, do you get a text? Or is it at training? You at training, on the training, training ground, yeah. Yeah, yeah, God. I hate that. Do you like Text, Ollie, like... you're not playing tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I didn't know what, you know. But, um, what, are you up to? what are you having yeah. for dinner? You're not playing tomorrow, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Just like me here. Do you all, so, you, so obviously you, you live in Surrey. Say you're playing against, I don't know. Where's the furthest you have to go? Like, do you, if you, would you, would you have to go to Wrexham first and get a team coach to a away game or would you, could you drive there yourself? Oh, so what, no, there my was gaff like, was game, really good. There was a game sort of London. So if we played yeah. Boreham Wood, Duggan and Redbridge, yeah. Barnet. No, my gaff. <laughs> all the way up to come back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, my, my well, gaff. Like, you know, yeah, yeah, no. Nah, to be fair, the gaffer at Wrexham is like really, really good with me. He's really supportive and he know, he, he doesn't like me driving, but he's all right with me getting the train. It's obviously a lot more relaxing and stuff. And it's, it's quicker for me, so I get the train anyway. Yeah, yeah. So we'll train on a Thursday and then I'll get the train home. And we train in London when we play London teams. Oh, nice. So it's great. So I get to be at home Thursday. Wait, where do you train in London? So we train um, near, it's like Northwest London somewhere. Um, Finch Produce is a wonderful person up there. It's Finchley. You that. I can't remember. That's, that's Finchley. That's Finchley is Northwest. It's London. not far from Boreham Wood because I get the train to Boreham Wood Elstree. London Colney. Oh, I couldn't. Oh, fuck Just train at Arsenal training ground. It begins with yeah. M. We used to do that when I was at Lincoln. M. Um, anyway, yeah, yeah. so we 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 train there, and it's good. So I get to go home on the Thursday. Then I, it's actually better for me because on the Friday for me it's really easy. I get yeah. a forty-five minute train to Boreham Wood, that area, and train. And then obviously go to the hotel with the club. So easy. Yeah, when it's London Southern clubs, it's actually better for me. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. like every game. game for me is a kind of an away game. Yeah. Right? I travel back after a Saturday. Yeah. Um, and what about for a home game? Will you have to go to Wrexham the night before? Yeah, so typically speaking now, it's a lot more structured. I think it was all up in the air January to the end of last season and I was trying to get my feet yeah. on the ground with it all. But now I'm pretty structured. I go up on a Monday morning, stay overnight, come back after on a Tuesday. Day off on a Wednesday and then Thursday morning I go up, I stay over Thursday night and Friday night, yeah. play the game Saturday. I could come back on a Thursday, but I'm trying to do it right. Like I'm yeah. trying to give the club everything. Yeah, I, good. Yeah. I don't want to like be tired or stressed out. So it's hard on the family and, and everything, but it's a commitment that I knew I was signing up to yeah, and I'm just yeah. trying to give it You're part the of best something as well, aren't you? You're yeah. part of something like really exciting and historic, actually. Especially yeah. like if you lot, which, you know, hopefully doing it's looking well at the moment if you lot get promotion yeah. like that will be such a big moment in the mm -hmm. club's history and you yeah. want to be a part of that yeah of course i'm desperate to make it happen this year because i know if we get promoted into league two we'll get promoted against league one probably straight away really Jacket. yeah if you look at other a huge sentence by yeah that's it happens no it sentence. does happen yeah, yo of course it, it does but. and worse teams have done it right um you know you look at bristol rovers who got promoted at the conference beat me at Wembley, that was well, horrible. Fleet, Fleetwood. They beat us on penalties. Well, who, who Fleetwood had done it. I was on loan at Grimsby. They beat us on penalties. Oh, rough. Yeah, yeah, it was a rough day. And I was only on loan. I was pff, sat in a dark room for three, four days. That was horrible. But so Bristol Rovers went up, got promoted. Fleetwood obviously did it while while back. They went up, got promoted. Sutton didn't get promoted last year, but they ended up getting in the playoffs mm -hmm. and yeah. they just got promoted. And they only went up through the playoffs like, Mate, I've been to that ground. They're pretty stinking. Sutton, I've been to Sutton. Yeah. We went, I went for the Arsenal match. When Arsenal played Sutton, do you remember in the FA yeah, Cup? Yeah, is that when before. the geezer was eating the pie? Eating the pie, yeah. yeah the, the, goal, yeah, the, the goalie. goalie for like, the goalie ate the pie. That embarrassed yeah. Sutton United. Yeah. He that got was fired. embarrassing. He he, he lost, he it was like, like didn't he put fired. a bet on it, it or was, something? He put a bet that he was going to be seen eating a... Yeah, it's embarrassing that was. That was I remember I went to the most bizarre match I've ever been to in my life. Like I was there with the FA, with Emirates FA. And like, I was just on the pitch, like before the game, like we had access to go anywhere. But like during the warm up, I was just in the middle of the pitch. Mm. <laughs> so, Look and they were just you training. Were you just, 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 just yeah. walking around? It's yeah, a I, if I want, I swear, if I wanted to, I could go go stand next to um, who's our old Spanish striker, Spanish. I don't. Know, we, uh, whoever Arsenal, Fear Walker. Say Fear Walker was there. I could just go stand next to. Him. Probably talking about Reyes then. Sanchez played. I think Alexis, Alexis Sanchez. Do you remember yeah, Reyes? Reyes. No, yeah. <laughs> I love him. I love Antonio. I think Alexis Sanchez was there. Alexis Sanchez, what well, you could have just gone over? I could just walk straight up to him. Yes. It was the weirdest thing, mate. It was weird. Yeah, it was is. just everyone was just standing on a pitch. But I suppose like there's an FA Cup game going on. I had the same experience the round before, but it was Leeds, so it wasn't quite the wasn't quite the same. What? Out, so oh, is this at because of your no, YouTube stuff? I did a series, I did a series yeah, with yeah. the FA like back in the day. You came a part of it as well, actually. Yeah. 
where I'd go to a match each round of the FA Cup and That's go quality, to different yeah. crowd, different grounds and meet new teams. Well, it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. So where did you start? Of it? Can I interview you for a second? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> where did you... So you guys are all together. Is that right? I just want to understand where the fuck I am. Yeah, me who are Ray, you lot? Yeah. I'm, yeah. really, yeah. I'm really enjoying this. Who are you? <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> Can I join? <laughs> <laughs> this is me and Reeve show who's also called Ollie. I'm just... Yeah, I'm like, like you. I'm, I'm a guest. Right, you're I'm a guest. I'm just a guest hoping for the best. Just, <laughs> is he chatting shit? No, he's no, a guest. No, no, he's a guest. No, no, he's a guest. guest. He's a guest. Yeah, so he's a guest. How often do you come on this? You seem to be doubting me on a lot of normal things I say. You seem to like... But this is your first time. I know this is not your first time here. I was here two days ago. And I've, I mean, I've, I've yeah. worked. I've How many worked times have you done this? I've, I've, been, oh, on, I've been on pitch, five? I've been on pitch side Six? five times in total. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Just gobby and make so myself. So you're a YouTuber. Yes. Okay. Oh. What do you do on YouTube? Has you seen? Have you have you have you seen Rory's Erling Haaland Sky Sports clip? No. no. Oh, he, he's not. A, yeah. Mate, this guy. Oh, you can't talk. No, mate. I'm not. I, I got. I got. <laughs> Thank uh, you. I got yeah. prompted. Both both of these. <laughs> oh, when I when I say divs, I mean divs. What happened? At the start of the season, they said Erling Haaland is going to flop. He's, he's oh, so no, bad. I, I, I said that. I said, <laughs> you lot are so point. stupid. Stupid it's stupid ridiculous. Do you know what? This man's a robot. He's in Man City's team. It's almost impossible. Maybe yeah. if he went to Man United or yeah. something Chelsea. like that. Chelsea. Chelsea. Then he we had it could <laughs> happen, yeah. but not in City's team. Yeah. yeah. Nah, it wasn't my finest hour. It wasn't my worst either, in fairness, but it definitely it, was. It's, it's, it's done well for the Robbie Jennings brand, mate. So what sort of things do you guys YouTube? So I do, for me personally, I do... Like football videos, I work with players, I work with you know other. Is YouTubers. that how you started? Did you, did you start just talking down this, the camera this is to only YouTube? Been going, what, year and a half. Year, yeah, this year is a, a season. So just we started. Year. We started the twenty one twenty two season. Yeah. This, the, the so what do you do? You, before, Ollie does. Then? Reeve does FIFA. Mine's mostly FIFA. On the so you stuff. were film. You were filming yourself playing FIFA. Yeah, and then obviously. Are you sick at FIFA. No, I'm, I'm alright. I'm not like a professional. It's not like a. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are wicked at computer games. Oh. Oh, Germany! 2-0. Two, two oh, offside. Nil. Offside, offside, no? offside again. Another offside goal. Or is it counted? It's counting. It's counting. Was he behind the ball? That looks Another like four, Mate, only four minutes of injury time. Wait, why? That won't count. That was offside. The, the no. score's not changed. There it is. No, but that one, no. surely that is offside. Like, we've seen that once with the naked eye. And arm. everyone went offside. So that is obviously offside. Yeah. He might have been behind the ball, though. I think he was. He was in front of all the defenders. like it was a square pass. So yeah, you play FIFA yeah, and, and that's um, how you kind of got your foot in the door with YouTube and stuff. Yeah, pretty much. And then we how did we become friends uh just Ch met uh, so far <laughs> outside so, so far outside yeah, yeah. Oh, um i don't know you sort of just messaged me asking if you made my mate i think you said <laughs> <laughs> basically what happened with rob and ryan i think yeah <laughs> yeah it's like do you want to go buy a football club i was like yeah fine whatever <laughs> you just messaged me asking if you could be my mate is that what happened yeah that's pretty much how it happened <laughs> wasn't it <laughs> We it's not true, by the way. Not, yeah. All right, mate, whatever you say. And yeah, then yeah. now you guys, so you guys, this is your, you do this once a week, I assume, or twice once a week. Twice. Once or twice a week. A lot World Cup is like four. Is your, you, and then do you go and do other stuff? Yeah, we do our own personal stuff as well. So you're yeah. going film. Well, I, I, yeah, I'd make, you know, videos, vlogs, go to football matches. So you'll vlog like a football match and then you have, so how many subscribers do you have on YouTube? Almost 1.1 mil. Oh, oh shit. God. How many do you have? 800,000. Yeah. Shit. And how many do you have? A bit embarrassing here, but like 200k. Sorry, that's class. People subscribed. Yeah. Wow. But I don't even have fucking. I think I've got. I, I did make a YouTube account because I put a video of my son on YouTube with me pretending to be Spider Man. So that is my. <laughs> oh, that's that's that nice is my YouTube. That. Yeah, that's I nice. You can see that. that. Yeah, yeah, nice. can, 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 should I find <laughs> it? Yeah, yeah. Should I find it? Up. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So uh, that is my YouTube account. That's all that's on there. Speaking of YouTube and fans, are you aware of <laughs> possibly the it. most famous Wrexham fan there is? Bo oh, no. Bootlegger. Yeah, Bootlegger. Yeah, yeah. yeah Do yeah. people like him up there? I've not met him yet, but he just not followed met me on social media a couple oh, weeks okay. ago. That's big news, follow, you know. That's when well. you know you've made it at the club, man. It's like, well, uh. <laughs> Mate, Bootlegger is actually iconic, man. Do you, see him, at, do you see him at the like games? I haven't. No. I haven't actually seen him at any games. I'm surprised they didn't get him in the dock. So <laughs> the... Are you <laughs> surprised by that? No, but you think they would. Nah, because he's like social media famous, isn't he? Like Americans wouldn't know who he was. Like that. <laughs> That's good. Angel coming in with another question with the five dollars. He goes, question for Ollie. Oh God. What are the chances Wrexham will appear in Deadpool 3? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Exclusive. It doesn't know. It doesn't know. Um, <laughs> I I I know I'm gonna go and see Ryan on set. 
in the summer. That's cool. Yeah, so that I'm going to really go. Cool. Slip, slip yourself in as an extra, mate. Yeah. That's what I do. Do you not think I'm planning that? But in the year that happens oh, like, quite really a lot, bored, doesn't it? Well, yeah. Yeah. Just stick me in there. It does happen quite a lot, though. Things like that become iconic. Like, you know, Alfred Hitchcock, any Hitchcock film, he's in it. Like, just a just And the late Stan. Stanley Kubrick. Stan Lee. Stan, Stan Lee. Stan Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Spike. Do you mean yeah, Spike? Yeah, he Lee? means the right. Marvel. Movie. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't Stan think. We'll, I don't think we'll be in Deadpool or anything like that. But I wouldn't be surprised because of obviously the power that Rob and Ryan have in the TV movie industry. They, if they made a, a film or something, mm. if we were to be successful. Well, you mentioned the Rex. mentioned in. Um, What's my new favorite show called? Again? Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso. Yeah. They mentioned they? in Ted Lasso. Yeah. Yeah. So you know the, that, that I think that's where I think Ryan's like good friends with the guy that done Ted Lasso. Was it Jason Sudeikis? That film's kind of based. Well, people think it's based around FC Wimbledon. I don't know if that's true. Or not. There's a Wrexham to oh, Wembley right. poster. Did you know that? What's that? You're in. You're in the Deadpool Wembley trailer. Wrexham to Wembley poster in the back of it. Oh, so that's is that going in Deadpool three? So oh, that's chucked it in the back. That's cool. But we only went to Wembley in May. But maybe he's maybe he's uh, envisioned it. Envisioned yeah. it. For mm. the, the, well, hopefully you don't have to go to Wembley. I don't know my YouTube well, password. I mean, you could go for Wembley for other things like the FA Cup final. And... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what is Rex won the FA Cup final? No, but I'm saying like there's plenty of other opportunities other than playoffs, right? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> What's the um, well? That's why we went there. It's because the FA Trophy that yeah. shit you can only count. What's the <laughs> what's the best thing that's happened when say Rob and Ryan have come into the club? Like, do they just come to watch games? Do they ever come into the changing room? Do they speak yeah. to you? They yeah. do. Yeah, they're just too like normal. But they guys. come into the change room, like. But surely not. I find the it game. so weird because I know if you said to me like two years ago, or well, if you said you'd be playing for Rex, I'd be like, no, I won't. If you said to me you'd be <laughs> like friends with Ryan Reynolds you'd be like how <laughs> yeah, yeah. how there's no difference to me saying to you right now you're going to be friends with Brad Pitt you'd be like what well it doesn't make sense how well, tell yeah. me where Is the lines in pitch? <laughs> 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 to be fair can we get Brad Pitt Brad, on this? Brad if you're watching any <laughs> point <laughs> so you just think like it's but like I just now kind of live off the cuff and just the mm. world is Fucking Does he ever interrupt team talks? No, 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 not at all. Never. Leaves the manager to no, no, he lets the. He's not. They are not self obsessed people. Yeah, they yeah. do not. On a match day, they do not walk in. They do not walk on the pitch. And oh, they do not walk in the changing rooms to give. It's not. They don't make it about them at all. Yeah. After the game, and like I said, we've won every home game. That, come and celebrate. So they come in and they, give, you know, they chat yeah, to you yeah. and stuff. And Would you ever see them? Could you ever see them on a night out in Wrexham? If we win the league, then yeah. Oh my yeah. god, I need to be in Wrexham when you win the league. I've been yeah. out in Wrexham twice. Is it good? Lovely, I get treated yeah. like I'm Ryan Reynolds. Really? <laughs> I cannot yeah. imagine what Ryan Reynolds would get treated <laughs> like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, it's, it'd be fucking. I, I honestly think you know when like everyone's like if England win the Euros, like the country would shut down. Yeah. If Wrexham or when Wrexham get promoted, yeah. Touch wood. Yeah. I have to be there. You have yeah. no. I, have if to be, you, yeah. I think it would. I think it would might possibly end up being the greatest night out. R and Ryan would one hundred percent get involved in that as well, right? Sure. And, and he'd, do you know like what? It, as well, that, that, mate, he'd dress oh. up as Deadpool. He would be. I will dress <laughs> up as Deadpool. We would all dress up we as Deadpool. We would all dress up as Deadpool if we it win the league. It will be sunny in Wrexham. Yeah, no. See what I did there? Yeah. Oh, do, oh you're yeah. doing a set again. Yeah. Oh, mate. I'm there. Catch me there. But I will make sure you're at. The league winning game. Oh please! Okay. That's that's sorry, sorry. Yeah, the league score a hat if, if we do win the league, I'll make sure you're there. But you have to come to a game before that. I know. I okay, want to. Right. We want to yeah, come. Yeah. We're we looking to hopefully come in January. Yeah. Because I want to come up there because I'm, I'm currently recovering from hip surgery, so I want to come up. Oh shit! Bit, so you've been through the. Oh, I've been through it. Why did you have hip surgery? Um, I had a hip arthroscopy because a lot. It's fun. It's weird because like. I've had a groin hip injury for the last four years. He's a really good footballer. but like Not like you good, but he's really good. Yeah, no, yeah. But because of what I do, it's not like normal football. It's mm. the same free kick or the same kick yeah. over and over yeah, and over. It's repetitive, yeah. yeah. It's over and over again. Because of that, um, I'm 26. I had to have hip surgery, which is like, they're like, yeah, we don't treat you guys. They're too young. Shit. But um, yeah, so they just cut down my bone. Because it was basically catching on my yeah, muscle. Yeah, yeah. 
it was catching on my muscles. So was it, it in felt, your hip joint? Or yeah, not? yeah, yeah. Right yeah. Joint. So they cut down the cam lesion, cleared yeah. a load of crap in there, and yeah. did something else. Yeah. But and hopefully, fingers crossed. Like that. Yeah. Fingers crossed, I'll be able to play ball again. I think so. Hopefully, I think you'll be right. Hopefully, as long as you did the right rehab. Yeah, I'm take still it very trying seriously. to find a YouTube video. Yeah. I want to show you. Well, I went back two weeks because I think I was just overdoing everything, so it got all inflamed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I was meant to be on the bike the day after. Damn. And I wouldn't really say it was. No, you are. No, no, I was saying he doesn't help himself. No, I was on it indoor, but Lux was on the bike like five hours after his surgery. You're meant to be on it mm. to keep the, the movement. Really? But I wouldn't say it was cycling. Did you see the state of my cycling? It was like <coughs> oh, wait, so they didn't wear the armband. They just did a message covering their mouths. What do you think speech. about that? No discrimination in the white armband, but no, no rainbow color, LG. B, TQ community. I think Roy Key said it best, didn't he? He said that England bottled it. Well, I more think more so. All the nations bottled it. I think so. I'll just get booked then. Yeah. Get booked. I agree. So I think he said get booked and then um, just don't wear it the next game. Yeah. Alex Mate. Yeah, yeah, Alex Scott, that was class. And do you know, how much, do you know so how much attention? Sick. Do you know how much attention she got for that? A crazy amount of attention. If Harry Kane would have done it, that's world news. Mm. Anyway. Um, we do have Politics, some... Yeah. Mm. Before we get into the chat questions, we've got a halftime quiz, mm. which arguably is my favourite part of any show we ever do. Okay. Apart from this one, because you've been really cool. Because I'm actually... Mm. Don't take my halftime quiz away from me. <laughs> I'm really good at these quizzes. No, but I'm, you're saying it's the favourite. That's such a dodgy penalty. You such know? a dodgy penalty. Like, the more I look at it, it's such a dodgy penalty. Should have got um, done for booking. It should have got booked sorry, before <laughs> the dive. Uh, Lewis, hit us with the first question and I'll read it out to the chat so if chat you want to get involved and then we'll go back and do the questions for the chat chat <laughs> right can I quit football and do this every day <laughs> if, if you, you want really to, want to yeah. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant <laughs> yeah. I'll take your spot <laughs> <laughs> no you can't if I did surgery <laughs> question number one which two countries made their World Cup debuts in 2018 I mean in 2018 I, I got one I think can I say it Oh, we're just keeping them. Surely in our group, Panama, no? I don't even remember who was in Panama. I told in you my group? football knowledge is yeah, so shit. Point. Why are we doing this? <laughs> um, Panama. Panama. Yeah, that will Panama be. Panama won. Uh, uh, oh, uh, ooh, uh, do, you know, do you know who it could be? Is it someone. Uh, Montenegro? Pa no, because remember, Serbia and Montenegro were in the thing together. No. Well, back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're the one just I'm gone. saying, can't be right. Oh, uh, Poland. No. What? Poland? You, bro, Poland. what are you? You could have said a more I like abstract I like answer. answer. Can, yeah, can, oh, can I have a clue? Clue. What? what yeah, no, don't don't even ask him where continent is Asia, from. Asia, right? Because he said yeah. one, well, well, last 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 time. Yeah, he goes. We're well, like, oh, what what continent is this country from? He goes, Africa. Do you know what's talking about Turkey? <laughs> right, they're borderline. Anyways. Are you the I IT like? guy? Are you the <laughs> IT guy? You're meant to be intelligent. <laughs> He's a producer, yeah. But. Uh, <laughs> clue. Uh, England have a troubled past with this team. What? A troubled past. What? Politically? Uh, politically? Uh, no, no, no. Oh. Uh, go on then. No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hungry? No, of course not. Um, who have we struggled with recently? Yeah. And I, Ireland. Iceland. Yeah. Iceland. Oh, Iceland, Iceland and Panama. The thunderclap, wasn't it? Why have we had Ooh. problems with them? Because they, they, they knocked us out in 2016. Oh, that's out. not problems. That's just us being shit, isn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fair <laughs> Tom Garrett's in the chat. He said, we can't hear questions. I will read them back to you. Sorry, Tom. All right. All right. Question number two is, who scored the Brazil goal in the infamous 7-1 defeat oh, gosh, to Germany? David Luiz. Free kick. Thiago Silva header. Thiago Silva. Yeah. Thiago. Oh, is it not? Oh, yeah, I knew that was wrong. <laughs> oh, uh, Oscar. Yes. Stop yeah. looking at the oh chat, you God, little you cheat. You googled it. You cheat. You, you, yeah, you, 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 you did. You, you literally yeah, you went. Did. You, you went. literally did. Oh, yeah. Oscar. It's all on all camera. Of the You're a cheat. Oscar. Oscar. That's coming, yeah. that's coming oh through now. God. That's coming no, through no, now. No, no, that's cheat. VAR. You're a VAR. You're a filthy, that's coming. No, that's coming through now. You're a filthy dog They're 10 seconds behind. They're 10 seconds behind. All that will do. They're 10 seconds behind. All that will do. They're 10 seconds behind. All that will do in VAR is show you going. 
Mate, they oh, went to Oscar. I like the way you did it with the eyes as well, like to try and just make us not notice. That was like he, the denial like, moment. calling you out. He says you always do this. That was like the denial moment when I see you do this with a knife. <laughs> and yeah. Put it back. Oh, yeah. I watched that this morning. <laughs> Yeah. You fucking put the you dirty yeah, bastard. But that, in my defense, that was just like secondhand nature. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. You feel like you're at home. You're so used to it. Quiz. Yeah. You've lost the quiz. You're bottom of the quiz. I mean, no how, have you, how have you got that? It's a famous pitch side moment, mate. No, that was brilliant. I watched that this morning. Yeah. Is that us? Oh, wait, this is going to be him. Let's see if he reads it. Let's see if he reads it. No, I don't. He does watch. We're I don't watch it. Find out, you look bald on the oh, on that. No, he reading it. You <laughs> <look> <laughs> reading the clip. every time, every time. <laughs> From here, I thought they'd done the slap so I, him. I thought they'd done the slap filter on you because you're white. <laughs> yeah, can we turn? Can we turn the contrast down, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's looking Mate, at that. Your eyes are looking at that. I, so I looked at the World Cup. No, oh. no, man. You're, I know this is a bit rich because it's your show, but your bud, that's unbelievable. All right. You're a cheat. Hang I, don't, on, I, I got five out of five. <laughs> <today. laughs> I bet you did. I don't ruin it I'll get this one next. All right, number three. Which nation was the first Asian country to reach the World Cup semi finals? Oh, that's obvious. Yeah, uh, I know South that. Korea. Yeah. Okay, 2002. Oh, two, yeah. Yeah. Well, that is yeah. good. That's very good. Yeah, fucking two right is good. Yeah, that's fucking right. You hear that one, chat? <laughs> I got that quicker than you lot even heard the question. <laughs> question number four or three. Which team went 559 consecutive minutes without conceding a goal in the 06 2010 Germany. World Cups? Oh, I've, is it, That's a good shout, though. Not Spain. They didn't. No, it's not. I know Was who it, it is. Argentina, I know exactly who they've it is. not lost for ages. No, it's Italy. Oh yeah, that's a good. That's a. Oh. That's a no. clever so answer. Oh no, Lehman is beating us, Germany. Isn't Very it? good at their defensive. Oh. So they they, so wait, they got knocked out on penalties. Yeah, they were knocked out on penalties. So, so it doesn't count in ninety minutes, right? Portugal. Right, right, right. Portugal. Oh wait, no. England. New Zealand. No. <laughs> they no, because they they. Drew, do you remember when that was it? They drew three <laughs> games, didn't they? They drew with Italy in twenty ten. New Zealand. Sure they did. Australia. Don't know. So only 170 minutes. 170 minutes. If they drew three games. So this no, but it went over this four years. This was on the course of a couple of World Cups. Yeah. So it's 559 consecutive minutes without conceding goals in that nation. It's gonna be someone shit, oh, isn't it? Like I fucking. Know it is. Ukraine. Is it Greece? Brazil. That's not England. A team. Are we just going through the map here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just name countries. A boring now. team. No, don't do it. Okay. Give us the continent. Sweden. Iceland. Finland. No. Oh. England. England. Oh, did he? Say, France. He said Poland. France. No, no. France. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling to think of other countries. I'm not even thinking of the question anymore. Other countries that have land in it. Switzerland. Switzerland. Oh, yeah. That's, really? that's mad. We went for about 18 to 25 countries. What? So they went world. undefeated <laughs> in normal time? Not, yeah, in normal time, they just had boring games. You just not conceded. Uh, so, question five. Question five is uh, How many World Cup finals have been won on a penalty shootout? Well, Ooh. Oh, hang on. we should be able to work this out. Hmm. Two. So like, look. Is two? Is it? Yeah. 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 Def it's, it's two. Okay, 1994 was yeah. definitely. I thought it was more than That's when Rob, yeah, so Roberto Baggio blazed That's it over. One, yeah. And Italy. Yeah. Bang. Dude. Italy has oh, nice. six. Yeah. So how do you know all this stuff? Do you read? <laughs> do you read? <laughs> do you just read all this? <laughs> just generally. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I couldn't even name the Italian squad now. <laughs> Well, thankfully they're not. They're not <laughs> yeah. seen that after. <laughs> bonus, bonus question. question. <laughs> bonus question. Extra high. Bonus question. England came bottom of Group D in the 2014 World Cup. Right. Which team won their group, and which other European team was eliminated? The, the group was won by Costa Rica. Yeah, it was won by Costa Rica. And Italy went out with England. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? That's crazy, man. Costa Rica. Brian Ruiz. Brian Ruiz. Brian Played for Ruiz. Fulham. They finished top of the group. You should yeah. do Uruguay. commentary on Sky Sports. <laughs> <laughs> he does. You come up with insane knowledge during the game. Uh, I know Martin Tyler really well. Do you want me to... <laughs> yeah, mate, always open, always open to new opportunities. Fuck. 
That's mental. Uh, Chris Ho is coming in with Ollie. Can you wish the year 11's luck for that El Clasico game against the year 10's tomorrow? <laughs> oh. Oh. The year that 10's sounds that. dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to that's gonna be knee slides galore. Yeah, good luck, lads. That's going to be carnage. Um, Playing it during how, the World How Cup do you think well. uh, Woken will do in the Vanarama? Vanarama yeah, they're league? doing really well this season. It makes me always kind of chuckle because I keep tabs on Woken, obviously being one of my old clubs and I want them to do well. Um, obviously, with us in mind, finishing below us. Yeah. But um, the manager always kind of plays it down and says, you know, this won't last forever and we, you know, we're overachieving sort of thing. But they've got a really good team with a lot of ex-league players as well. And he's recruited, their manager's recruited really well. Mm. And I know some of their players, um, Scotty Cuthbert, Luke Wilkinson and Reese Gregor Cox and talented players and they're, they're having a great season. That I don't think they're underachieving at all. We played there at their place and we we only just managed to win 3-2. I got the winner. Come on. And, Did you um, celebrate? Yes. Yes. <laughs> good. Um, and... I hope they do well. It's a it's a good it's a good little football club. Yeah. To see them get into the football league via the playoffs with us with automatic promotion would be quite a lovely thing actually. Yeah. So uh, good luck to them. I know we've already touched on it. I'm just going through the super chats. Harvey goes. What would you, I know we touched on it. What do you think of your time at Lincoln? Loved it there. Like I, like I touched on earlier, I felt a bit hard done by with the amount of games that I played and yeah. Um, I got nicknamed palmario like this they made a brazilian <laughs> image out of me so that's sick and it still goes around on twitter now if you if you type in palmario it's, it's it's a funny image and it's something that got stuck on lampposts around lincoln and it's <laughs> everywhere um but i love my time there i love the football club i love the passion there i kind of relate it to wrexham where there's not really grimsby is probably the nearest club and then scumfort yeah. but there's it's just a really passionate town and i really want to see them do well as well so i yeah, I, I didn't play as much as what I would have liked and, mm. and what I actually should have without sounding deluded. A lot, but, of, lot of goals though. Yeah, but loved it. Absolutely yeah. loved it at Lincoln. We've got uh, a load more comments coming in. They're not super chat. I'm going for the comments, yeah. Um, who's the funniest in the hey, dressing what room? At uh, Wrexham. Yeah. Because of his accent. Do you know people from Sheffield? Yeah. Just John the Stones. way they, they, obviously, they, they don't pronounce their words properly and there's no... <laughs> Do you want cup tea and yeah, stuff Aaron like Maguire, that? Maguire. It's Stones Sheffield? It's just... Stones and Maguire Sheffield. Yeah. Really? Callum, well, they're Yorkshire. Callum Fazin is fucking hilarious. Really? Yeah, he's a funny, funny lad. And he, he, do you know why? Because he doesn't mean to be. Just stuff he comes out of is just... The way he says it, I'd say it and no, you wouldn't bat an eyelid. He says it and he's just in stitches. Yeah, he's so a special guy. Yeah, yeah he's, but he's, he's top lad. Yeah. We've got um, one of those, haven't we? Called Chippo Crimes. Chippo Crimes. Um... FA Trophy? Uh, the FA Trophy? Are you, you lot are still in that? We're, I don't think we've started it yet because obviously we're at the top of that would you, would you, competition. We lost that final last year to Bromley. Or, but would you Wembley. go for it this year if it meant... As in, like, you know how like you, you, you've already got so many games to play, having that as a distraction to Yeah, because obviously league? we're in the FA Cup as well. And we, I'd, I really want to have a good run in the FA Cup. I know fans think it's a distraction, but it's... It does really, so much for the club as well. It does so much for the club. Yeah. Players enjoy it, you know... We got Farnborough on Saturday, which on paper we should win, but they had a great win away at Sutton. Yeah. You know, it's a hard place to go, Sutton. So, and with our squad, the depth that we've got in our squad, it shouldn't have an effect. The only thing from a player's point of view is you can win the league by, you know, 30th of April. The FA Trophy is not until yeah. middle of May. Mm. We want to be in Vegas. Then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... I think is that, yeah. Is that the promise? Is that what? <laughs> is, is anything? There's all about there's that? all sorts of shouts, but I think you know typically if you do get promotion, you get in Vegas with 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 a Ryan Reynolds. I bet that's up. a special. That's a, imagine that's the a, hookup. Like he he definitely you lost their uh, penthouses. Uh, <laughs> he, he definitely gets you into the on call beach. Club, yeah, I don't think we'll be queuing. How do you know about the on call beach club? Just big fan. Just big fan. Just twenty plus grown men in Deadpool suits rocking around in But it is like that. Yeah, I think a lot of people think you know when footballers do these kind of things, they're trying to have it. We don't give a shit yeah, about yeah. anyone else. We just want to have a good time yeah. within our own circle. It's a bit like a mini stag do. We're I was going to say, it sounds like a bit stag do. Oh. We've got our Christmas do this weekend in Dublin. And in Dublin? Yeah. <laughs> which That'd is, good. yeah, I've done that one a few times. It's just messy. And yeah. it's a bit like a stag do. And we're not, we're not worried about anyone else yeah. who's Does there. Does everyone go on that? Yeah. And then we've got fancy dress on the Sunday. No. So we what are you going as? We, it's a sport. You have to 
pick a sport out of a hat, I picked ballerina. <laughs> At least it's easy, though. At least, at least the, in the Dublin, it's easy. Freezing. No, because then so you embrace it. It's freezing. I paid yeah. fifty quid to repick. Oh, it's uh, worth it. Just, you're gonna be mate, how cold are you gonna be in Dublin as so well? So yeah, get? I pulled out rugby. So I'm going as an Irish rugby player. So I've just got my I actually just got it this morning. I saw it just before I left. Better hope you got a jacket. You bought a jacket. I'm just gonna have no. I'm just gonna literally be in long socks, shorts, skins, and the Irish rugby shirt. So right. gum shield. Probably strap my head up or wear. A, one of those, yeah, yeah, leave a strap yeah, or wear one of the scrum hats. Yeah. So, and does the gaffer and the, all the owners, ever, ever, the whole lot going? No, just players. Oh, just players. Okay, it's just players, just players. So it's that's oh a bit my like god. a Oh my if he god! Scores this, bang! Oh, oh is that Musiala? Come on, man! Oh, great, Musiala! Great feet, oh, mate, if that had gone in, yeah, go to the top. How old is he? Like nineteen? Yeah, it's a slide that in the corner. Mm. Oh, he's done all the hard work. Look at his footwork. They're all terrified as well because you can't yeah. bring him down, can you? I like no. just terrified that you're oh, he should, has he to should, get on target. Right. Yeah, I, I hate this. I hate the phrase that you have to score. You don't. There's someone in goal trying to stop you, but you do have to hit the target. You then. have to hit the target, then yeah. It's so composed, and he's just oh, a little it's, bubble maybe. Mm. He's just lashed it off. Perhaps, like, perhaps. Um, what's your uh, What's your relationship with Paul like? Great, great lad. Really close with him. Um, Genuinely, yeah, on and off the pitch. Yeah. Do you, you push each other, help each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have like family dinners now? We've um, we spend a bit of time outside of football, but well, he, no, I mean like you he, know, he lives when, in Liverpool and I live in London. Okay. But obviously, when when I do go out with the family and that, he he does say to do things. But we we haven't actually yet as two families, but we've had you know we've had yeah, dinner yeah, together yeah. and stuff. Um, as individuals, and I've got a great relationship with him. It's just sometimes it lands like that, and I think that shows on the pitch. Yeah. We, we got each other's backs you know what I mean got a couple more super chats coming in he goes uh, who's your best pal in the squad I'm close with a few with a few um, I'd probably say I'm closest with Paul Mullin Elliot Lee um, Fordy Anthony Ford um, got a great great relationship with Ben Toza Callum McFadden Rob Layton I would get on really well with Christian Dibble Harry Lennon. Uh, yeah, I got all of that. <laughs> it's just, it's just I mean, a that's, good that's change. That's reflective of how yeah. Wrexham are doing. Yeah, them, right? and everyone, just, I think everyone's kind of just mates, right? Yeah, so. like Jordan Davies, Mac. I can sit, I can sit on a table. You know, you get quite, you can get quite like little clicky changing rooms. I can just walk in and sit, so sit wherever, wherever, sit on any yeah. dinner table on a way trip, yeah. sit next to anyone on the, on the coach. Awkward. Not at all. Is it like that between everyone else as well then? Yeah. It's not just your relationship No, it's not with me everyone, with everyone. But... It's everyone with everyone. Yeah, that's cool. And it's great. Yeah. It really is. Yeah, it's, it'd be hard to pick one. Mm. Who's uh, Ryan goes, who's the fastest in the squad? Me. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> um, fastest in the squad. I'm deceptively quick though, which is quite nice, but fastest in the squad. No, you know what? You know <laughs> Do you know what? When someone says they're deceptively quick. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's because I'm like, 100 kg, six foot five. Yeah, but Once it's I get sprint shifted, speed, right? Not the, the sprint speed, and we have Lengthy the database, and so yeah, mine's yeah. like in the top five. Yeah, when I've I just need to get pull up the pitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as the fucking tractor gets yeah. moving. <laughs> but um, I think so. Apparently, I've not seen it yet because he's been injured and he's only just come back from injury since I've been there. Unfortunately, Harry Lennon, who's the centre back, he's meant to be scary quick. And to be fair to him, he's like 90 kg centre. He's meant to be lightning, but I've not seen it mm. because obviously he's been injured. So from what I've seen, I think Bryce, our right back, is probably one of the quickest or Moles is probably up there. Um, generally like the smaller, lighter lads, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Um, so yeah. Different I, kind of pace I think actually the quickest is Harry Lennon. Well, I guess it's the surname, isn't it? <laughs> what? Because I'm Aaron. Harry Lennon, yeah. yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> Harry Lennon. Yeah. Somehow related, I bet. <laughs> yeah. Just got John the- Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> Probably good at guitar Sorry. as well, isn't he? I, yeah, yeah. I reckon he's good, good at guitar. Good songwriter, yeah, of course. I played the piano at my wedding, actually. You really? played the piano? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really? learned it. Okay. I learned, yeah, what grade yeah. are you? Or do you play? I learned it in... Uh, no, I don't play. So when I signed for Wrexham, because I was staying up there, I learned the piano. So in my wedding speech, at the end of it, I had a surprise, and everyone thought I was going to sing. Oh. I, I said to my missus, I said to my wife before... Well, we've been together since we were like 15, 16. On and off, obviously, but... Back when we were 15, I said, if I make it as a professional footballer and we get married, I'll sing at our wedding. So I have zero vocal ability. It would have been awkward, yeah, shit, yeah. silly. I could have made it oh. fun and silly, but... Oh, the goalie did well there. Um, oh, hang on a minute. Musiala? Arse oh, offside, sorry. So uh, 
I thought I can still kind of pull something off it. So up in Wrexham, I learned the piano. That's really cool. Do you know how fucking just hard a song, it is? just or one song yeah, yeah. every day I for like five it. months, and it was intense. I did three lessons a week. What's the song? I still cocked up on the day a little bit. Let me show you a little clip. I was grade five. How it's hard is it playing the piano? And I, I quit in year nine because I didn't think it was cool. Instant regret. No, yeah, massive regret. Instant regret. Yeah, it, my mum said I'd regret it, and yeah. she was right. You know when you see them people in the train the station playing oh, the yeah, piano, yeah. and they just look. So I they, and do you know what? They I always improve over... your day. As yeah. soon as you walk past people doing that, you vamp. Like, I relearned like, over the summer. Like, yeah, yeah. I saw you playing the keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. River flows in you by your rumor. <laughs> you know the one. <laughs> We've got to learn a song, Lewis. Come on. Yeah, fucking hell, mate. You can't just, you can't just play a string. I'm going to learn notes. Pogues as well, Fairy Tale of New York. That's a good one. But that only we really works at Christmas. We could, we could do a duet. We could do a duet. Can you play that. piano? Pardon? Can you play piano as well? No, I can't no, play piano, but uh, if, if, I'm, if, I do, if I do Shane oh, yeah, McGowan, you do Kirsty McCall. How would you fast forward a bit? Is this your TikTok? Room, friend's so I got one of my son's school friend's mum to play the violin with us. Oh, as that's well. cool. So I'm going to skip. Oh, that's a okay. little bum note, yeah. Who's singing? Our wedding singer. Oh, um, yeah, makes sense. So no one knew I was doing this. Are you nervous? <laughs> Most nervous part of the day? Oh, horrendous. Yeah, I can imagine. So nervous. I can't see that you're watching me come. Are we about to get copyrighted? You need to give me. That's me in the corner there. It's actually me singing. <laughs> so I did fuck it up. Let me show you where I fucked it but up. But I suppose at that point, you've, you'd learn it and relearn it. It's like muscle memory. So my own sister r fucked it up for me. So she shouted, <laughs> I'm flying now. My, co like, my nerves have settled. Yeah, 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 you're like three quarters of the way through the song. And she shouts, come on, Ollie. So. Oh, it's my favorite bit in the song. Stopped. Fucked it. Oh, because you're, you're in flow state. You're in flow state. Yeah. So, and then I shout, go again, go again, go yeah. again. And, she, and I got back into it. Do you know what it is as Beautiful. well? Is that it, you, what you cut? I, I could only find. Hey. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Look, look, look at me here. Look at me here. Best part of the song. Oh, nice. She's looking at me like. <laughs> <laughs> you go. So it was a good day, but. Yeah, just thought I'd learn like something. But playing that. the piano is it's a good skill to have. Credit to any sort of musician, yeah, it is. by the have way. Have you learned is. anything since that song? No, no, no. And I just oh, say you, to myself, you lose it a bit quick, like though. you, I'd love to keep kind of keep learning and playing the piano yeah. and stuff. But because I've obviously got my clothing brand out now, I haven't yeah. even got a second yeah. to yeah. do anything else. But um, yeah, it was it was. It was, it was quite cool. A few of my friends got married that summer and they're like, you fucking stitched me right up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone, you first out everyone's going to start yeah. learning the piano. Oh no, you set like, the bar. My first right. speech is so yeah, shit. Yeah. Like, uh, I love you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> you just learned a whole instrument. So yeah. I just said, actually, they said, that's so weird. I remember when that vid went viral on TikTok. Yeah, it did go viral. The videographer posted it and it went, it's got a lot of views. That's sick. Maybe not your guys' numbers. It hasn't got like tens of millions, but it's, Probably Hundreds of thousands. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it was a slightly different element, but um, I think she appreciated it. <coughs> How so, did we, uh, yeah, go on. What, uh, so, you know, you've just spoken about your clothing brand. Are there any other things outside of, obviously, Wrexham and football that take a lot of your time? Up? Do you play golf? Get the train up and down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I really love driving. You know what? Yeah. The fact that you do all this train stuff and you never used to live, listen to podcasts or audio, it's crazy. So that's why I but, started yeah. when I started traveling. I see. Do you know, I think there's a logic to it though. You've got two kids, right? Yeah. Do you find a train journey Oh, like such so a, my God, such a relief yeah. from like the pressures? Of, yeah. Like, like, I've got a kid. It's relaxing. I've got a kid, right? You know, when I get on a train, I used to always have a book on the go or I feel like get a newspaper to read or a podcast. So, now, do you know what I do? I just sit there and I'm just like, this is amazing. Yeah. Nobody can get me. <laughs> Nobody can make me do anything. Do I'm just sitting down do you know what? nothing. Do you, know what, do you know what me and my wife did on holiday about a year or two ago? We went to Palma and we were sat on the beach and we were looking for someone quiet, somewhere like to relax. And we said, let's just put up next to that family with the two kids. Every time we get bored, 
we remind ourselves. Yeah. Look at their chaos yeah. going on <laughs> and just enjoy it. We yeah. did, we flood up next to them. We were just like, hey, yeah. nothing yeah. Yeah. Nothing yeah, no, you, know, you know, like when I used to get on, a, say you get on an aeroplane and there'd be a, a, a kid crying. Yeah. Before I had a kid, I'd be like, oh no. Yeah. Now I'm just like, I don't care. <laughs> Unlucky, like, that's your it. job. You've got to do yeah. it. I'm fine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it, it is a bit like that, but it's obviously flat. So now I've kind of, I saw my friends for a dinner for the first time since oh, May. Yeah. And since May? Yeah, May or June, like all my best friends from school. And they're like, oh, you've distanced yourselves again. You've distanced yourself again, Ollie, because of, so I was like, no, nah, it's like all I'm doing is working, traveling, yeah. um, playing football and then traveling home. I just want to see my kids. So obviously you want to see them on a Saturday night. I want to get home and see my kids. I'm not seeing them since not even Thursday morning, Wednesday night was because yeah. they've gone to bed. So it's like, yeah, it's just tough. Yeah. Like it's just football, travel, family. I've not seen any friends or anything like that. Um, but they understand. So it takes up a lot of time. I'm just trying to use my time wisely now in, in nice. Wrexham whilst I'm up there. Because yeah. I was like, I could just go on a golf course. I could just sit around and, and chill out and do nothing. But obviously bringing out WXM clothing is, you know, done it in my spare time it took five months yeah. but it's a brand that you know with what i've got behind me the back end i've got support of like a whole community like around north wales and we've got orders going to america and canada and stuff so much so that we're like there's we've sold out on the website we've got massive backlog we've got a few problems at the moment because like raw mail strikes thursday yeah. and friday and it's created a huge backlog and stuff and it's disappointing that we won't get some orders out on time but it's great to have Something aside from football, just yeah. to take your mind off yeah. it. Yeah. Even WXM, me? WXM clothing. So WXM is actually an abbreviation from Wrexham. Um, so it's W. Sense. Yeah. Sorry. Did so, you not? I'm so sorry. Was that intentional? No. Really? No, so no, but it doesn't. Fuck me, man. I'm so sorry. But that's he what... said he told you so endearingly as well. I was like, I surely you. No, know. no, no, not at all. Because do you know what? I understand that some people <laughs> oh, from God. outside of Wrexham wouldn't want to buy a clothing brand, but it's not. Re it's it's WXM clothing. I want people to buy the clothing because it's no, good yeah, quality I, I clothing. I don't yeah. know but why. still from people <laughs> from the area give, has an instant connection to it, of which course. is like the niche yeah. in, in, in the clothing brand. Yeah. The football club are behind it. Rob and Ryan are behind it. Um, we've got like an eight, the 1864 range is one part of it. And then we've got a premium line com coming out, which we want to be competing with, you know, like represent and um, many of the Yeah. Right. So, yeah and we're big fans of representing yeah, as well. And we're, we're going to bring out like high end, good quality clothing from yeah. like the best factories where they all, you know, they all, the same factories as them and as Reese are using the same factory. So it is going to be high end <laughs> clothing. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. So that's yeah. perfect. Yeah. So yeah. It's like, it's like, I love Reese. Yeah. Wrong. So it is going to be high end, but we've also got that, the 1864 range, which is related going back to the, obviously the day the football club was born and, and, and to North Wales, really. Do you reckon you'll see many of them around the race course? Well, the club shop, we've got the 1864 range in the oh, club shop. Oh, you sell shop. it in the... Yeah, nice. in the club shop. Oh, cool. And they sold out their stock in two days. Really? So 500 good. items. And we've sold, yeah, just under 2,000 on So you're guaranteed to crazy. see them. And this is not even the premium that's line. Nuts. Yeah. That's actually, that's so, actually genuinely nuts. Yeah. We had a... Elliot, let's see that comment we just had. Hugo Matthew, love the new clothing brand, Ollie. It was great to see you trying to wear the tails. Oh my God, it's <laughs> fucking out. So I, when we launched, I went behind, I went into the club show, obviously. And it was great because you see some of the same fans when you go in to like, on a Saturday before a game, it's normally the same faces waiting for you to see you. Yeah. So to go into the club shop and meet different people yeah. and people come and see you was actually like really amazing. Mm. Um, <laughs> and really to have the 864 range in there, which is obviously connected to the football club. And I want to, you know, we can broaden our market to America and Canada. It's great. I want to do, you can do that through fashion. I think there's a real yeah, demand man. for the street wear yeah. there. And then obviously we're going to have the premium line stuff as well. So which is just going to be WXM clothing, but it'd be slightly more expensive, but it's slightly better quality. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's exciting. I f you know, like I said, why just sit up in Wrexham and do nothing whilst I'm up there? Why not do something productive? Have you always been into fashion? Um, yeah, you might not think no, of looking no, at me. I mean, <laughs> no, but I mean like, to open a fashion brand doesn't necessarily mean that you enjoy. Yeah, no, fashion. no, it's I've I have I've always you know always trying to look, but I'm quite like you. I'm not into anything overly funky, but I like to follow the trends. And yeah. again, it's it's a streetwear brand where we want people to feel good and look good um, in in the same sort of set. You know how preview you can almost wear their clothes casually, or yeah. you can dress up smart, but you can mix it together, and that's the sort of market that we're going for. Is that 
is that something you want to go down the lines of after you finish football yeah. rather than the coaching, coaching aspect of I it? I think so, yeah. I don't really have a huge desire to go. So when I was playing non-league and people were saying, get a job, you've got to get a real job, you've got to do this, you're not going to make it as a professional footballer. And it was tough. And my granddad was yeah. hard on me, like making me cry and whatever when yeah. I was a young kid. Which is fine because he just wanted the best for me. But I always just said, I'm going to be a professional footballer. That's all my reply ever was. Yeah. And people thought I was deluded, but I knew where I was going. With coaching, it's not like that. I'm a bit, yeah. I'm an an R in. Do I want to be a coach? Yeah, I don't mind. I don't have a huge passion for it right now. It might grow, but this clothing brand is something that I'm really excited about. Yeah. I really enjoyed yeah. doing this. It took five months to get to launch and the response has been amazing. The 1864 range is, is great quality clothes. And then the premium line is going to be even better, slightly more expensive, but obviously they cost more to make and um, they're a bit more bespoke and custom fits and stuff. So it's exciting and it's it's good to do something different. It's good to take your mind off football. I think yeah. some people think it's going to be a distraction, yeah. but streams we're doing it. of income too. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's that's what you're meant to do, you know. That's Great like different streams of. But income. we've put share. We put some shares of the company into Wrexham FC Community Trust to help that's create money oh, for yeah. the local community. Oh. So, and also profits out of the club shop go to back into the community trust. So we're trying to, we want to give back to the community because the community has actually given so much to me. And I know it sounds cheesy as fuck, yeah. but it really has. Like, I mean, it's reflected in the brand name as well. Yeah, but I think it's reflected in my football. Yeah. Like, I've given them everything because they're giving me everything. Yeah. Like, the fans love me there and you, you can see that and how they treat Paul Mullin and myself or Elliot Lee or Aaron Hayden, Ben Tozer. They're really receptive and... You need that if you're going to do well. It's the difference between what I had at Mansfield and what I had yeah, at Wrexham yeah. is golf between. And you're going to have, yes, I'm more experienced and developed, but you're going to have two different players, yeah. completely different players. How would you feel and how do you think you'd get on? So obviously, you know, as a footballer, you're always in training sessions and whatnot, but under the lights of a YouTube video, mm. how would you get on? I know where he's going. Let's see where this is going. Yeah, yeah. Wait, it's wait, a good wait. idea. Yeah, I'm, wait, I'm on board wait, with the wait, idea wait, already. Wait, wait, go, wait, go with it. <laughs> Come on. I think it's a great Finish idea. Finish your sentence, man. How would you get on facing against, uh, uh, I don't know, some YouTuber <laughs> who just is, is the, la the, la the last eight years yeah, just yeah, practiced yeah, penalties yeah. and free kicks? Sure. Yeah. How do you think you'd get on? Well, I know I'm not penalty taken now because obviously Mullen got there first, but I've got 13 out of my last 14 penalties. So I think I'd beat you on that. Is that it? Oh, he's, he's calling you straight oh, out. Oh, straight oh, out. I, I'm not missed, I'm I'm not missed a competitive pen in about five years. Mate. We've only taken three. No, 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 no. <laughs> I swear, at, swear no, at uni, on uni, at uni the Wednesday, Matt, what's it? A bar Intermural. City? Intermural. Yeah. Didn't miss one. Yeah. Should we have a penalty comp? <laughs> I'd love it. And free kicks. Do it up in Wrexham at I'll the race come. course. I'll come. Free kicks, pens, and Who's then... Who's the goalie? Do you have... How are you doing? Don't worry about the goalie. By the way, there's no... Like, we'll make our own goal. There's no cuts, edits... No shit like that. Every single one's being filmed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know you take 20 and you film but post five. But you don't five. know, it's actually it's first time every time. So like if you I'm say, not doubting you, I'm just saying, no edits. <laughs> Who takes free kicks at Rexham? It's just a mixture of people. Yeah. yeah. Whoever wants it at that point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, whoever wants it in that, in that moment, really. I've not took one this season yet. I'm going to take one in the next game. And if if you yeah, score, score if, you, one, if yeah. you score, you have to do a celebration. Yeah, we got next goal. One. What's next the goal? celebration you want me to do? Oh, should we give him one? I did a celebration that went viral recently and it wasn't planned and all the lads thought it was fucking planned. So I did this celebration. I laid down, did like a... I don't know what I did. I we just, should definitely give him one. I just this did it because I did it. P. P for pitch oh. that's a, that's I did this celebration. Oh, yeah. I love it. I don't, I don't know why I did. I think it's Palmer. <laughs> I love it. I just it. did that, right? But then Ryan's posted me in the same pose in his Deadpool clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so... I had no oh. idea that was a thing. I didn't, I did not know, so but here, obviously everyone's like, oh, yeah, we're gonna, fucking I've got celebrating. I've got a celebration. Yeah, yeah, we're going to give you one. So your next goal, yeah, it could be on Saturday against Farm Farnborough. Hope, I didn't play in the last FA Cup round. Oh. Got rested, but. Next goal, hopefully, generally. Hopefully, yeah. I want to play in it. I do want to play in the FA Cup. Camera on me, please, Lewis. <laughs> You're not getting up, are you? Oh, this is, mate, he's actually, he's actually choreographed something. He's, I'm you know why? Because he wants to score the goal as well. <laughs> yeah. Do you know do you know what? That's actually not too bad either because your surname's obviously Palmer. So people won't think oh. it's like 
Yeah, but we'll that. know. But is that we'll backwards know. or not? That's backwards. But yeah, so you it's, have to do right, the, the thing, yeah. so the camera picks up and you have to do so right So I've got to make hand. a nine. Yeah, yeah you've got to make a nine. Make a nine. Yeah. I can do that. But it's got to be a knee slide. No, yeah, he's just fall to your knees. And a, a knee just slide. fall to my knees. Just fall to your knees. Fall to your knees. Just fall to your knees. Just fall to your knees. Like like when Kaka did it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just fall so to your knees. It, it depends if it if it's like a gas goal, knee slide. Okay. And whilst you're still moving, that would be. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll I'll definitely do that. If you want to make you know, if it's just like a whatever goal, you just go. I think that's better. <laughs> yeah. I actually feel it's better. I think it's I better. better. Yeah. I'll do that on Saturday, hopefully. Mate, you have to oh, I've got faith. I've got faith we're going to see this gonna Saturday afternoon. It's going to be superb. <laughs> Our game is on some TV channel on Saturday. BT, probably. It's not on... How oh, is it not? BT. ESPN. So, it'll be on ESPN. It's on ESPN and I think some other... A Welsh sports channel. But it's on a Sky somewhere. Well, mm. I'll be tuning in from the desert. Tune in. Tune in. Desert, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll be tuned. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully I'm playing and hopefully I'll get a goal for that. S4C. 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 S5C. 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 I think that's a, is it? I, I believe it's like a Welsh S5C. sports <laughs> channel. I'm not sure. S4C. S4C. Is it a Welsh Welsh sports channel? Sporting for Wales. It's like one Sky on one four six. It could be Sport for Simru. Because that's Welsh for Wales, isn't it? Such yeah. A, such a nerd. <laughs> Honestly. Cumbria. 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 No. Some, that's, that is somewhere, but that's somewhere else. That's like Lake District. Ollie, if you were up front for Man City, yeah. if you were starting every game, yeah. how many goals do you think you'd score in a season? 20. Wow. 20. 2020? 20. 20. <laughs> 20. I was going to say 20, 25. <laughs> I actually believe I'd score 20 goals. I believe that. I saw an outrageous comment the other day on social media that Premier League centre half would be better up front. Oh, that then was ridiculous! No, yeah, absolute I saw that. fucking the, the, bullshit. The comment was the comment was they're better. At, yeah, it, the comment yeah. was they're better at attacking or better f offensively than lower league strikers. Absolutely miles. No, no way. That's that definitely is. not true. It's just it's just not true. Yeah. And you've seen so many lower league strikers. Vardy, who's the other lad that was in oh. the conference, went to Watford. Come from Luton. Andre Gray. Andre Gray. Yeah. yeah. So, Shea Adams. He came from. Yeah. yeah. He's no, so many lower league players that are now <laughs> playing in the Prem. So many. Yeah, it's, just, it's just a little bit of luck to get there and being in the right club, right place, right time. But then obviously the talented boys as well. Uh, but there's also other people that are still talented that don't get to that level. Yeah. It's just an outrageous comment to yeah. even oh. think that. What a... Oh! 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 Lawyer! Oh, Lawyer the... God. Mate, he is what a save. still what a not miss. lost it, has he? What, what a goal! What a on the but what a miss! On the follow-up, what a miss! Mate, this is the tail of two keepers, man. Some of the saves in this game have been ridiculous. Wow! Why has he not just laced that down into the yeah. ground? Mate, that Trying is a, that safe. is a mate, mental save. Yeah. I think his teammate got in his way. He Gosh. tried to just pass it in instead of just lacing it. Look, it's a great save. Yeah. Oh, he's oh. absolutely. See what I mean, he's making his way though. That is such a good save. Oh, the deflection. Deflected too. Lace How has he missed? Oh, it's uh, so bad. Do better. Oh my do god. Better. You score that. Oh, just oh no, that is actually real bad. That's a shame. Yeah, it, it is. Playing well, Japan. What? What? What do, you, what do you say the difference is between someone going from non-league to the Prem? Is it a bit of luck? Is it just? You, you do need a little bit of luck. Yeah. yeah. But timing, they're still talented lads. Timing, timing. timing and circumstances. If I was doing what I'm doing now, so I think I've scored like 26 goals in 37 games at Wrexham, right? Since I've been there, if I was doing that now as a 21 year old, I'd yeah, get yeah. a fucking brilliant move. Yeah. Mm. And then you go and do it again. You got to go and play as well. I picked a few clubs where I probably went, I didn't go and play and I knew I wouldn't play, but I was just taking the club or whatever. But you got to go somewhere, play, time in, um, and then consistency as well. I feel like a lot of, you don't get as much consistency out of players at this level. Um, so if you're consistent and you're scoring consistently, or, you know, Aaron Hayden, I think he's like fifth or sixth in the goals. He's scored like nine goals. He's our centre half. Um, yeah. If he was doing, but again, he's like 28. If he was doing that when he was 21, yeah. he's a good player as well. Yeah. This is an outrageous comment. Aaron Hayden jumps higher than Ronaldo from a standing jump. It is scary. How tall is he? Um, six foot two. He just leaps like, like a salmon. Like I've got photos of him scoring headers and he's like half his body is above the crossbar. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary <laughs> so he just gets launched in by Ben Tozu who has this ridiculous throw and he just scores it's just 
It's, oh, I know you think I'm exaggerating. No, 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 oh, no. oh, oh, what? Oh, yes! oh shit. Who's cool? That's been coming, isn't it? Did that has been coming. Did anyone say 1 1? I no. said 2 1 Japan. I said 2 1 Germany. I said 2 1 yeah. Japan. No, oh, oh my. Mate, mate. Could it's, it's, not, it's not even an upset, really. Japan are quality. Yeah, it's they an are upset. Good. What did you say, me? 3 0 Germany. I did. Yeah. 3 0 Germany. Shock, re rung. Game's not. <laughs> what did you say about the game's not finished yet? Yeah? Game's not finished yet. Oh, how can it be 3 0 Germany? <laughs> No, but what are, you, what are you talking about? Game's not done yet. No, it can still said... be 3-0 Germany. <laughs> I didn't say it could still be 3-0 Germany. I said Germany can still win this game. You've, you you said Germany to win. Yeah, 2-1. Yeah. Which could happen. I said 3-1. <coughs> Bit unlikely. I said 2-1. Yeah, you're the only one out. I am the only you're one the out. You're the only one yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Noia did well again as well. Mate, this has been coming. They've been playing so well. Yeah, they are. Mate, this this tournament is looking... It's a good tournament, isn't it? Good tournament. good tournament. Yeah, it is. Well, hang on, hang on. Like, the 3 nil nils have been awesome. No, yeah, been, I think like, the team... I'd say they've been... Like, I've Argentina two, losing I've to Saudi Arabia. Bad game. That was brilliant. Yeah. Like, yeah well, that's, that's the best Remember game of the Remember when we thought there. Australia were going to beat France for a minute? For one minute. That's the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we do though. I can't see a world where England don't win the World Cup. Yeah, I, I can't actually, even. I can't even. Brazil understand haven't played yet though. Brazil haven't agree. played. Brazil not, haven't not played yet. Uh, speak, not bothered. Not bothered. Speak, <laughs> speaking of uh, top goalies though, Mr. Mark Howard is in the chat. Said he's sitting next to you on the on the coach. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, Mark's great lad. He's a great lad. Um, is, is he watching that? Yeah. Have you dyed your beard this morning, Mark? Oh, oh, does he do? Is he, is he on the just for men? Is he? Does he do the just for men? Yeah. It's an ongoing joke every day, between <laughs> me being me being fat, Elliot Lee being a midget, and <laughs> be, uh, Chomp dying his beard um, and being very old. Although, does he, do you know what? If he's got the old salt and pepper beard, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm telling him that every day. Nothing wrong with the salt and pepper. Just go with it. Salt and pepper beard. Salt and pepper beard. No, it's you know a bit like mine. Like a, a, a bit grey. A bit like Elliot over there. Yeah, the, tr the trouble is, with the, it's when it becomes more salt than pepper. That's yeah. when it becomes a little bit of a problem. But it's I quite look fox, forward to it. Silver Fox, man. Silver Fox. Yeah, but when it's sprinkled in with black. See, Chomp, the thing is, so his nickname is Chomp, right? Mark Howes, we call him Chomp. Chomp's got... Dark hair. He's got a dark head of hair, and he wants to match it. He doesn't want to have the salt and pepper beard. Oh, I think yeah. roll with the salt and pepper beard. Yeah, yeah. That's my opinion. But he's a great lad. Yeah, we sit at the back of the coach together. Back of the coach. So, it's the cool yeah. kids. It is the cool kids. kids. Well, I never used to sit at the back, and then I realised how much space there was. I can lie down. Yeah. But now we end up just ripping the piss out of each other for a few <laughs> hours. So, um, but he's 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 a funny lad to be fair. Do you have any? Um, did you do go anywhere? Like, do you, oh, I don't know what I'm going with this. It's, I'm trying to talk about pre-season. Do you think you're ever, like, this pre-season coming up, do you think you'll, like, go places? Go, to, go abroad? So last, so pre-season you know, just we, gone yeah. in May, June, we were supposed, it was meant to be all booked. We were meant to go to Philadelphia for five days to then to Miami for five days, which oh, has been pretty cool. It's a dream. We don't know why it got cancelled. Oh. My personal opinion is because I think it's because we didn't get promoted. Um, uh, that's fair enough. Budgeting you, as that's well. fair enough. You didn't, mate. You got to fulfill your side of the bargain if you want a nice holiday. Mm. It's not a fucking holiday. Yeah, but it's it pre-season. Pre yeah, but it is. <laughs> um, but it is a holiday. It is, it? Yeah. <laughs> I think. I think they kind of want to build it up. So if we can get promoted, and obviously the one series of the documentary is out there, and then you build it up, and let's say we get promoted this year, yeah. and then you go out to America, it would be massive yeah. for the football club. So I think strategically, it makes more sense to do it this summer. Yeah. yeah. Um. So. They could do like a premiere for the next documentary. Who knows? I don't know. Philadelphia would be on. But we went to Spain. Well, that's... Fantastic. Yeah, that's we went to Spain, which was an anti-climax in the moment. Yeah. But it was a great... Play? Get the job done in Spain. Yeah. Couldn't tell you. It wasn't like... It we, wasn't. we played a La Liga team. Right. Or I think they just got relegated from La Liga. Um, tough game. Um, but it's just bad game. Fitness, isn't it? But obviously, yeah. you'd much rather go to America. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And hopefully Especially we'll do the that. Especially places you were going, like Philadelphia and Miami, and Miami that's yeah. proper glamorous. So, so now there's, up, there's an American, really? yeah. yeah, there's an American guy, actor, who's bought a football club. Yeah, Matthew McConaughey's bought Austin Who FC. Is, uh, yeah, <laughs> I've listened. I've listened. I've uh, on the 11th of <laughs> yeah. July at 4 p.m. <laughs> um, so I think we're playing them. Yeah, well, he, he, his, I, think we're I actually to play listened them. to his book. It's actually really interesting. Is I've it? not listened to his book. Actually. It's such a lie. I listened to his <laughs> podcast on Joe Rogan. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. No, he's a great. So he's bought a football he's club. Yeah. Yeah. He, Austin FC because he's like he's like a really proud Texan. Yeah. So yeah. He's like invested massively in Austin. And so I think we're going to go to America. I think the plan is to go to America. Try and face Inter Miami. You'll be playing against. Ronaldo that was the and Messi. plan. We were meant to play Inter Mass. Inter Messi. Inter Miami. Inter Miami. We meant to play Inter Miami last. How? Do you you beat them? Like, what's the? What do you think the standard? Like, what is the standard there? Jacket. Surely it can't be that like what? Intimate, can't be mid- that what? That bad? No, Wait, <laughs> what are you going to say? Surely it's a bad thing. It can't be that bad. I'm, I'm back it. I'm back it. I'm going. Yeah. I'm telling you, I back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back it. I back it. And here's why I back it. I'm MLS sorry. is the sorry, top Ollie. division in their country. It's their top division. Yeah. And they were meant to provide players to their national club. Yeah. Wrexham is in tier five of English football. Yeah. Like MLS should be at a better standard. I think most. I think. Do you not think? I, I would. I honestly don't think. So. I would say every. <laughs> it's been ma- rattled it. I would. Oh, but it's true. <laughs> I reckon eight out of ten championship clubs be every MLS club, and I reckon five out of ten League One clubs, probably four out of ten League Two clubs beat. So I think like we would have a like sound. I don't know. Maybe thirty percent chance. Wait, of beating be interesting. Though. When I think about players. On, the, on like a really low level that I know that have gone over to MLS to play. I know they're players, players that but... haven't. They're players that haven't made Premiership. It, uh, no, no, but they haven't made Premiership certainly. But they haven't made down the rungs, and yeah. then they've gone to the states. You know, they've yeah. gone. They've yeah, gone yeah. to. They've gone to Burton. They've gone to wherever. But you got to remember though, right? The League One, League Two, it's full of wicked football. Yeah, like sure. the talent, the players, level man. now, and people talk about the Premier League like thirty years ago and whatever. And we're like, but it was shit then. Forty years ago, it was shit. But now, obviously, it's ridiculously high standard. But, you know, the stand in League One 20 years ago was nowhere near what it is now. Like, to be playing in League One yeah, is, is a playing in the Championship, unbelievable standard yeah, of football. Is. And it's not the same in every country. Um, and I think, you know, if we was to go over there, I'm not saying we'd go and beat Inter Miami or, or every MLS club, but we definitely wouldn't embarrass ourselves. No, yeah. And, well, it would, and it, we would give them a good game. <clears throat> but that, I think in, with Inter Miami's case as well, like co- trying to compare Inter Miami to say like an LA Galaxy or, an LA, or New York FC, the, the stand between those two clubs is massive. Mm. Yeah. Like LA, LA, you got Gareth, no, LAFC got Gareth Bale, Chiellini, yeah. mm-hmm. Carlos Vela, Jack Harrison yeah, went from some of them are old. The it's old, true. Yeah. But old. Inter Miami, they're are just like, names. What did they, they finished bottom of the MLS. I don't even. East, th- Western. How, how East, much effort one, are they? How much effort? How much does Chiellini care? Oh no! Not a chance. Not a chance. Not a chance. Not a chance. But saying that, when Bale scored that like 120th minute equaliser, yeah. equaliser yeah. but I guess you it's would. A bit different. It's, it's That's a, just a yeah. natural like special moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I do think like the standard of English football is not matched by any other country as it's filtered down. Like even in Spain, in Italy, like in t- Tier Four. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I don't think it's as good oh, as it is here. Oh, 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 Japan. Oh, Two one Japan! Yes! Oh my God! Oh, Rory! Wow. Rory! Nobody, no, genius! This is Forget the you know when I say He's things are right. You know when I get things right. Nobody, nobody makes cares. a TikTok of that. Yeah, yeah. Nobody TikToks me then. Yeah. We will. We when will make it, it. When I get it wrong, when mental. I get it wrong, it goes everywhere. When I get the time, I say Harlan. That's doesn't. what happens, mate. Yeah, I get it right. Nobody cares. T- Rory, you're on TikTok right now. That is fantastic. <laughs> that oh is my God! Absolutely fantastic. This bodes really well because you know what? Because you know I'm going to that Japan Spain game. Mm, I, really could mean wanted, something. I really wanted it to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mate, this is crazy. This World Cup is nuts. You're not this going World to an Cup England is game. So good. You're yeah. not going to go. If England finish top of the group, okay. I've got a ticket for the M- M52. It's shit, it's like that, isn't it? M52. So I've got a ticket for M52, which is England finishing top of the group. Right. Could Tommy Asu love it? If it's not England, I, like I could end up with whoever finishes top of that group. Yeah. That's, That's nuts. Oh my, who's... To mate, be fair, it's, it's not an upset because Japan be, aren't shit. Yeah, no, to be exactly. fair, I thought not. Japan were going through, but it might be Germany going out rather than Spain. Fucking hell. Uh, that's amazing. What character Three as well? To come back 1-0 down... Well, I said Japan would character. go through the group, mate. I said Japan and Germany... What a touch that is. What a beautiful... Yeah, that's such a good... God. For the angle as well. A, a, against Neuer. Against, yeah. like, look at that touch! Hey, against Neuer. Ben Sosa did a touch like that the other day. If he scored this goal, it would have been nominated for the... Pushkas Award. Yes. It was nuts. <laughs> it only went just wide, but it was simmered. Oh my days. Oh, mate, this World Cup is sick. Mate, this World Cup is, is really good. It's just a shame it's in Qatar, isn't it? And yeah. It is. do, you know what, do you know what is fun? 
This man seems to be getting a lot of things wrong at the moment. <laughs> so you said Germany to win as well. Yeah, I said it was a cagey, going to be a cagey tight affair. You got this. You got. You got the game wrong. It's not tight. Japan is. I love these two because you know what's going to happen. We're just going to sit here now, and these two are going to have like a. Reeves going to be like really passive aggressive and like annoyed, and Theo's just not going to let it lie. KG you said Fair. it was going to be three 0 You said. Yeah, I did. I did. On, I, I, thought, I thought Germany would, would romp them to be Germany honest. It's a cagey affair. <laughs> I'm not wrong. It's a cagey affair. Well, I mean, you got the team wrong, but yeah. I said it's cagey affair. <laughs> I said two one. I I, I I I fully backed Japan. I said they'd go through. I just didn't think they'd win this go. game. But they. But the thing is, though, if they if they Humble. did lose this game, they wouldn't go through. Yeah. I don't think. Do you know what I mean? Like, no, because yeah. no, because so if you lose your first game, it's hard. so hard, hard to get out of the group. No, because so no, because Argentina is still. No, Argentina could genuinely not qualify. No, there's no. Argentina will prob. What's the penalty check? Is this is a penalty check for who? By the way, Mario Gertz is on the pitch. Yeah, he is, oh. number 11. First appearance for Germany since 2017. I um, didn't just, realise he was still alive. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's kicking. He's kicking and doing well. well what clubs are he playing for now? Frankfurt. Frankfurt. Yeah. Oh, where's the pen here? I'm not seeing nothing. I, think he's in this next I don't think he underachieved. Oh, is it that, that bit there? He, got he, 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 he had um, Crohn's, disease. Crohn's disease, didn't he? Which Thanks. kept him out for... Know. Do you think it would have reached heights from that World Cup or Euro? Is that a pen? No, no, that can't be a penalty. Like, There's literally a... nothing in that. Yeah. No. But what a moment that was, though. Like oh, going win the World, moment. going <sighs> win the World Cup, mate. Good goal as well on the yeah, chest, on the volley. Finish. Good goal. Do you know? Do you know if you do that, it kind of you're done, aren't you? Like it doesn't even matter. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Or oh. like... <clears throat> apparently, so Mark Howard is saying. Oh fuck. <laughs> You have to do spin the wheel for mentioning the Christmas do. That doesn't make any sense. What, you can't talk about that we're going to Ireland? No, he's right. And, he, and also, Mark, he's told us everything. I know what he's going dressed as. I know that he spent, <laughs> I know that he spent money. I know that he paid £50. He paid £50 to change his... Um, his Ballerina. His Ballerina. Ballerina. Rugby <laughs> he's, he's literally told us everything. So he's got a spin the wheel. I say you three don't know what hotel we're staying in as well. Such a stag do stitch up, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 you yeah, just yeah. get in the stag. Yeah. Nothing to do with me. It couldn't be less to do with me. <laughs> ask Mark Howard what sport he's going as. Mark, what sport are you going as? Do you know? I don't know actually. I'm, I'm going to put my money. Probably in. something what would in bowls be, or something. Something be, old. What would be? <laughs> what would be the worst? So ballerina is difficult. Yeah. No, but, 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 swimmer. No, but swimmer. Ballerina's, swimmer. Ballerina's, swimmer. Is a swimmer. Swimmer. Swimmer's ballerina is great because you just embrace the chaos of the weekend. Then the, like, you, you're dressed no, as a free. Have you ever been to Dublin in winter? I it's have. Freezing. Yeah. Freezing. It's very yeah, but a, a swimmer. You're, a swimmer. You're you wearing flip flops, man. But you could yeah, wear. You could wear a wetsuit. A wetsuit. <laughs> I said that, but that was. I mean, you open sweaty. water swimming. I I said that. For the whoever got the swimming, they say would do that and I back that but all the lads voted against it so uh, no open it's water swimming Olympic is fine, swimming. we once made one of our mates wear um, what's the feet thing flippers flippers on a night out <laughs> absolutely he wanted no, that'd be what, just yeah. like walking yeah. around yeah. we were in we were in Hawaii for um, Halloween just we didn't we in didn't Hawaii we didn't realise wow. so we didn't realise that in uh, Hawaii we were in a town called Lahaina which is where just the so Americans go for Halloween. Like yeah. 30,000 people come Chat. to um, Maui for Halloween and we were staying like 10 minutes away. We're like, Brilliant. Whoa. Was it good? Oh, carnage. But do you Amazing. Not, do you not think flippers like ruin the night for everyone else because you're you waiting for down. the guy to... Unless you just they end up coming off. They end up coming yeah. off. Yeah. Right, it's Craig. the start, which is quite funny. Yeah. The start is quite funny. The, the best you could go as would be a golfer. Because that's pretty much how I dress. Yeah, you could just yeah. wear normal clothing. <laughs> yeah, just polo top, just yeah. trousers. A, or yeah. a snooker player. Everyone just comments. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone great. just comments. I tell you what would be going as a do darts you hear, player. Do you hear much like, from have the you, have the I had any abuse? <laughs> With a beer no, in hand always. All the yeah. time. Do you, yeah. hear, do you hear much from the crowd? Do you like listen to the crowd ever? When have you got a chance? When you're playing? Yeah, I've got a chance. What's your chance? I'm not singing it. We could just YouTube it. Yeah, what is your chance? Say it and yeah. He's learning it on piano. I'd have to, yeah. <laughs> it's hard. You'd have to tell me the start and I could finish it. Something excuse. about being Ollie Palmer. Oh, that's a good bit. It's, yeah. a, good, it's a good name. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, no, Ollie Palmer. Oh, Ollie Palmer's the best on the uh, earth. No, he is. Well, oh, yeah. Carl Ollie Palmer is, is the best on uh, the lanky striker is all <laughs> that we need. Taking Wrexham to the football league. Come <laughs> yes! on! Yeah. 
Mullins has got the loudest one though. Paul Mullins. Um, what's Paul Mullins one? Marlin. Marlin. No, it's not like that. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, Ryan, do you know Super Paul Mullins. Mullin. What's the super? super tra- Paul. We've got Mullin. Super Paul Mullin. Mullin. Yeah. Yeah. That's just that just yeah, you just, uh, yeah, that gets loud. That's good as well. Elliot Lee's got a good one. He's got the Pele one. The white Pele. What, like no, the, the Wayne Rooney one? It used to be the Wayne Yeah. Elliot Lee. Uh, what? He's like Pele. <laughs> no, the white Pele. Pele. Yeah, they, Man United used to do Wayne Rooney for the white Pele. Do you yeah. ever get? Do you, have you ever had like? So I had it once in. I had it once in a Sunday league match, and uh, you know, like normally abuse. Like I get so much abuse. Like normally that like, is, is what it is. But like it was really personal, and it really triggered me. But you know, what, it, was bad. Did, it was a bad job. From some, yeah, it was just from the, some children on the local. Yeah, park. but it was just like, yeah. mate, it was just kids. These twelve-year-olds are actually fucking was, nasty. But I felt yeah. that's what was so bad. It was just kids. I was like, how are you raised like that? Like, what did awful, they say? What, they, they say the terrible things to you. Like, it, it was awful. It was actually awful. Did you did you confront? No, they were hiding in the park. <laughs> That would have been thinking, childish of you to confront the, the 12-year-old. In, in my head, I was like, how was like, a parent actually raised a child No, like but this? football it's does it to sad. people. It's sad, mate. The actual, like... No, football does it yeah. to people. When you, go, when you go to any football game, whatever level, people change. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. I honestly thought, like, terrible parents. But, um, yeah, have you ever had something that's actually, like, really, like, triggered you in a game? Have you ever felt like doing the Cantona? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just laugh. Yeah, it doesn't get to me. It doesn't. I've got that sort of personality where I'm happy to take the piss at myself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if you want to, <laughs> yeah. So if, yeah, kind of trying to get under my skin is probably not the not the one because I'll just laugh. Yeah. I'll say stuff back, but it's oh, not yeah. because I'm triggered. It's just because I'm going yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah, just going with it. Does I think a lot of players like that. You just kind you of get to, used to it. Yeah. yeah. I think if you're going to get upset about it, you're in the wrong yeah. in the wrong game. The lanky striker is just what we need. Taking Rex into, into the, the football league. league. You love it. Ball Look at this. Oh, mate, this is nothing. Seven minutes at a time. That's nothing. That's nothing. That's no, nothing right nothing. now. No count. How mad is that? We're seeing that. It's nodding. Who was the next game after this? There's yeah. loads of games today, right? I watched the one this morning. Game kicked off at 10 a.m. this morning. Yeah. Spain, Costa Rica tonight. When, when are Portugal Spain, playing tomorrow? Yeah, Belgium. Uh, Do you think Portugal. Ronaldo start? Yeah. Yeah. Portugal, Ronaldo starts. He I, come out and said he's getting a lot of stick from all his Portuguese fans, didn't yeah. he? Oh my god! You get it in the I still, corner. I think in he starts. I know, I think he going. starts, but not Into only starts. Corner. I think he scores. You think? Yeah. I think he scores. Can you imagine? Does the Maguire does that? <laughs> no, He'll do his sleeping one, wouldn't he? Now, or What's if he did this. <gasps> No. Is that you, but you, you know you have to do it? If Ronaldo scored and then went like, imagine Ronaldo would be like, what is going on? People, we're going to get that. We are going to get that going everywhere, everywhere. You know if if you do that, oh my god, it's, it's gone to the moon. I want to see that celebration everywhere. Yeah, actually, we need, will. We need, we need TikTok will eat it up. To do it, don't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, goal. Oh, Germany. Oh, didn't get under control. If it, also, if you lot have Sunday league matches at the weekend, or if any of you are academy boys, yeah, show us clips. Start doing the P. Yeah. Do the P. For pitch side. It looks like a nine when you do it. Yeah, nine yeah. backwards for yourself, but on camera, it'll look like a P. I want to I want to see it working, please. Is there an issue here? Is this a pen? No. Oh, no. Have you way. guys seen my friend's TikTok? This is the guy I was talking about who I was with at Mansfield, Brian Tafazoli. He, he's like, he's filming. Um, football content now and he films his live he's got a mic on live in games and he's really get, he's getting that's like, quality he's getting like so he's got his club's permission he's getting five million views millions of views and there's one where he's getting in well we know the guys well for Dan Oliver he's, he's we've both played with him but what, how he, do you spell his name he's actually goading him before a penalty and he misses and it's I have seen that one great content. I've seen that yeah, one that's yeah, my yeah. best that's what I was talking about earlier. okay yeah yeah I've yeah. seen that video so, you, can you put his name in yeah there? And then he comes at screams in him afterwards, doesn't he? Yeah, he's like, bah, yeah, yeah, I've seen Japan. it. I've seen that clip. It's a bit of an awkward one because, like I said, we oh, both... Rudiger's just gone for a David yeah, Luiz. Always, mate, Rudiger loves doing that. He loves. He, you know, he will always gift the ball away. Listen. So he's he's making football content. He's, he's films he training throughout the week. Yeah, he's at Wickham, and then he oh he mi- he's mic'd up in games. He's got his own cameraman <laughs> there. Oh, he's getting like six mil a vid. Bloody hell! Mate, mate. sorry, what? He's actually like a football TikToker, well, so, and he plays so for Wickham. So is Fonzie, though, isn't he? But I mean, there's, there what are yeah, but that's, a lot of people laughed at him when clap. he started doing it, yeah. and I, I kind of just backed him and said, 
Just let them do what yeah, everyone's to do. That's like, what's the problem? Idea, people yeah. always laugh. Yeah, like, yeah, when you tell people you're doing a clothing brand, they yeah. laugh. And no, it's a good idea. They laugh first, but then you laugh later. Yeah, man. But he's doing really well. I'm gonna be in with. I'm gonna be in there. You see that Japan end that we're going? That's gonna where I'm gonna be. I'm gonna get in with the Japan ultras. That's where I'm going. That's, that's a vibe. I'll probably get him. <gasps> get him to come on here with you guys. Mate, that'd be sick. Like, he's actually just. It's like Ben Foster when he started doing the thing. He's, yeah. He started his latest football match for Wick and Wanderers. What really happens in a heated professional game? That was so close. He's an actual YouTuber. Yeah, he's got... He yeah, so how many well? subscribers has he got now? Like 50,000? 50 yeah. yeah. He's only been doing it like a year Amazing from that. start. Like, he's, he's had the idea for about a year He's done a video with Sharky. He did a video with Kieran Brown as well. He does all right. like speed and strength What's competitions. Ryan Tapazzoli. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Shout out Mark Howard's uh, oh, yeah, got him. podcast as well. Yep. Mine um, yours away, is it? May or not, may or may not be going on at some point. Yeah. Uh, he had to go at me because apparently he was meant he to was do meant it today. To, yeah. Do what? But then I'm flying tomorrow, so I've got so much to do. He was evening. like, I was meant to be on with Theo and he's cancelled me for you. Unlucky Mark. Well, yeah. pit, no, pitch side, pitch side was <laughs> Unlucky <awake>. Mark! <laughs> <laughs> and also, um, my mum booked the meal quite early this evening for my brother's birthday. Oh. So, you no, know, but he's got a great podcast. And he's got, a, he's yeah, got some massive names. Yeah, 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 Aaron Ramsey on there. So, uh, got some cool stuff as well. But again, it was all new to me, really. It's and now you've dropped in the deep end of the podcast. Well, now I'm right? coming on next week. This is, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. is this where your appetite yeah. for... Yeah, yeah I love this. You could jump in for Theo when he's yes. away watching US, I just, England, yeah, USA, yeah, mate. Exactly. I just love chatting shit, really. Yeah. Not that you guys are chatting no, shit. No, 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 that's exactly what we do. So don't worry about that. <laughs> just sitting here, just chatting shit, watching Who football. has more World Cup goals? Gareth Bale or Lewandowski? It's obviously going to be Mate, Gareth Bale. Lewandowski, Lewandowski hasn't scored, has Bale, he? Bale, surely. He's no, it's going to be Bale because yeah, he's just scored yeah, his first yeah. one. Lewandowski hasn't scored. Huh? Oh, Noy is up. It's up. the last 30 seconds 30 of the game. Seconds. Come on, Japan. If Noy scores ahead of that, would be... Would he be the first keeper to score a goal in the World sure. Cup? Sure. Not including oh. penalties. Jerry Senny? No, he doesn't. Open probably. play. Open play. Well, penalties count in the 90 minutes. No, oh. there was the, what was his name? The Paraguayan keeper? Uh... Shilavet. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Shilavet. That's, that's Spencer's course. Oh, yeah, I know that you know guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know Shilavet? Par 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 Paraguay, <laughs> didn't he? Who is it? Yeah. Spen yeah. Spencer's favourite goalie of all time. Yeah. Every, yeah. It's all about Ruggiero Senni, mate. Over 100 goals. And he's a goalie. Go on. Oh, imagine Neuer just scores a header. No, that's a disaster. Oh. Don't even. Why? That would be nuts. Uh, yeah, Rory, I need, Rory I need this TikTok. result yeah, for your we won, TikTok. We won the TikTok yeah, for Rory. Also, yeah. Here it goes! No! Oh, oh my God! Oh my God. Oh. Yes. Is he staying up for the court? I'm sure he's, he's not to. going back. Yeah, you can oh. just stay down now. Stay down, stay down. Oh stay down. my God! Take the sting out of the game. Oh my God, Surely imagine the scenes. Oh, mate. Is that Matoma? Is he mate, Cramp is the worst. Yeah, he hasn't got it though. Yeah, it is the worst. <laughs> oh, he takes it mate, off he's his head. away. The defenders, what a header that is! Is that game over? They're no, thinking no, no. the final oh, whistle has gone, aren't they? Miss. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god! He's took it off his head, Come mate. On, oh my! Imagine going. the scenes of Come that. On, Japan. Oh, look Come at on, Japan. look at all his movement there. Oh. Yes. Wait, what a punch! What a punch! What a punch! Can't go back to the keeper. Got to go in the box. What a punch! You got to put it in. Good That's it. Game. Come on. Ref, 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 that's it. Ref! Wait, why, 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 why did the ref go like that on the final? <laughs> <laughs> did anyone see that? Yes. Mate, what? This, hey, can I just point something out for this World Cup, right? Argentina, defeated. Everybody said that they could, you know, yeah. do well, something. Undefeated defeated. in three years. Germany, defeated. Mm. Try and tell me that England aren't winning this World Cup. How can, it, I how can we be stopped? France, I haven't seen Brazil yet. Otherwise, France and Brazil are going to be a problem. Not too fussed either way. England actually will win the Cup, that's I for can't sure. See how it do, we, do you know our route to the final? Do we if come? France is the problem. Yeah. Do we have France. France. If, if, if it goes as it should, we play France yeah. in the quarters. So if France were to finish second, we better. Sometimes you're better off finishing second in the group. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it makes much changes. difference this year. Yeah, the fact they're... that Argentina are now potentially going to finish second, it's kind of messed everything up a bit. Yeah. But, but France are looking like our, our issue. Uh, we've got 35 Zar from South African Matthew Wilson. Matt from South Africa here. We didn't qualify for the World Cup because we're crap. But do you remember the opening call from South Africa versus Mexico game in 2010? Yes. I put my pants. Shabalala. Go for Fana. 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 Go for Fana. Um, 
Mate, Ollie, thank you so much for coming on, mate. Thank really, really, really appreciate me. it. Welcome My back pleasure. anytime. Thank you. And hopefully we'll come up to North Wales yes. at some point. Yes. Yeah. Just in the chat and watch binding. him do this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll definitely make it happen. Just um, let me know when you've had your World Cup fun. Sounds like a few of you going come out. January. There, so. Hopefully I'm back playing in January as well. Ooh. You know what that means. No, it's juices on the no, penalty excuses. shoot. Out. <laughs> Uh, guys, if you have enjoyed this episode or live stream, I should say, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. When are we next live? live Friday, Friday for England. But um, unfortunately, Monsieur Baker is uh, in Qatar. So it will be me, England. myself, who, who, me, Rory, and Boovy and Garrett. Tom Garrett, the man. What a lineup. Um, as I said, mate, thanks so much for joining yeah, us, Rory. Thank you Always a pleasure. Honor, thank All you. the best of the season. Yeah. Cheers, mate. See you then. Bye bye.